what can I do? We all fans know that that is a problem in that midfield. Bro, it has to work. This uh, is the manager we all wanted. Uh. Meanwhile... Oh! Boys, Lissandro! It ain't good enough. I don't recognize. I don't recognize it. And I don't. It doesn't matter what you think. Know your damn role and shut your damn mouth. I'm just knowing my role right now. Listen, long day, bro. You should worry about West London as well. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't have to worry about London, period. I don't have to worry. The next seven games, I want 21, 21 points. You think I'm trying to get dominated by Wolf Prowse and Alvarez? You have to pay the iron price. They don't even keep the ball on the ground anyway. How did you assess the performance? What have I got myself into? I am in this to myself. I can't back out now. I don't, I don't have to worry about London, period. I don't have to worry. Crazy. <laughs> that's, that's one word to describe it. Crazy indeed. Did you say 21 points from seven? Or, or or seven points in the next twenty one points. I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm trying to work out the wording you used last time, just so I, I'm in the right state of mind moving forward to in this show. I did say uh, twenty one points from next seven. Yeah, seven, fourteen, twenty one. So is that We're seven wins? Kick, We're going to kick the can down the road. Next seven, seven wins. Yeah. Next seven. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> seven oh, listen, people. Skulls back in the building. Very early on in the season, but it gets like that. It gets like that. Um, big up Saeed, big up Matisse. Um, obviously, a lot of people were waiting for this show, considering Tottenham disposing of United, Chelsea facing some trouble in London after apparently it wasn't much trouble at all. But we'll get into that as well. Make sure you hit the like button. Let's get off. Uh, let's get past a thousand likes, nice and early, people. Two thousand before the show ends. Make sure you subscribe. And make sure you follow up the socials as well at the Big Six Show. Support the man there, my channel, Hugh, Saeed, Grizz, Tobes, Matisse, and the big man, Skull Fuggery. All channel links in the description below. So make sure you show some love, people. And listen, we, we, we maybe it was wrong of me to ask the question of Matisse first, because there was a Big Six fixture. And, and, you know, this is the Big Six, so we prioritise the Big Six fixtures. And I don't know. I, I think I want to reach out to Saeed first and say apologies for what happened on the last show because you was being reserved about the game and a lot of people were getting on to you saying you know show some chest and you know where, where's the old Saeed and stuff but you know you, you you remained reserved you predicted the draw didn't even get that from it but I do want to apologize yeah. but then at the same time no, I no, think it's, not, it's, not man, apologies. it's just it's one of them I just gave my honest opinion and apparently the people in the chat want me to show chest but listen it is what it is I did for other reasons, and I think Toby's ready for that one. But I wasn't confident, man. I'm not confident in this midfield. I'm not confident in Ten Hag at the minute, if I'm being honest with you, the way he's maybe his kind of philosophy is showing on to the players. Um, I thought the first 20 minutes, 30 minutes, I think probably the first half, it was, a, it was probably an end-to-end -end game in terms of they had their chances, we had our chances. Should have been a penalty for me, Romero, handball. Uh, it's clear as daylight. Reckless, he puts his hands out there. It's a handball for me. Bruno should score. Rashford should score, 2-0 up. But then Tottenham have their chances. And I think Onana has a good couple of saves. And it's an even half, but second half, mate, it's the second half that I know and why I'm not confident against the big six. And yes, it's Tottenham. And yes, we've had a good record there. But the principle of where we, how we play away from home isn't great. It isn't. We, we lose shape in certain areas. The midfield's exposed. Players aren't clinical enough up front. You know, the defence defense away from home as well. If you're looking at the big six games, there have been a few beatdowns. And ultimately, it's just not good enough, man. You know what I mean? And reality is Tottenham, I'm going to give them their credit, even though I think it was a lot to down to my United's mishap. But I'm going to still give Tottenham their credit. Basuma was excellent, dominated the midfield. Madison ran strings around Mount. Listen, I give Tottenham their credit, but a lot of it is down to Man United just not turning up in that second half. Had United turned up, we could have made a game of that. But Tottenham took advantage. They were up for it. They were ready. They fought for every second ball. And we just didn't turn up. And that's what we've been doing. And that's why I'm, I wasn't confident. But apparently, people wanted me to. So, yeah, man. Same old, same old. And, you know what I mean? It isn't good enough, man. I've been saying it. And this season, for me, the style of football has to be better. 
You know, I mean, I'm not expecting, you know what I mean, like to play like Man City and tear everyone apart, but I'm just expecting us to play consistently for 90 minutes. That's all I want. And for us to play the way Ten Hag wants to play in its entirety, because I don't feel like we're doing that right now, especially away from home. So, you know, there's, there's just too many people missing in that second half. And when you have too many people missing, you cannot, you, you can excuse the odd few that probably don't turn up. But when everyone doesn't turn up, and then everyone doesn't do the bare minimum, you know what I mean, in the game, then it's not good enough. You know what I mean? And what so yeah, man. I'm I'm not I'm disappointed, but I'm not surprised. This is what my United are gonna be like until we get a couple of signings in. And I mean two, three midfielders in. At least two midfielders. And then I don't know if we're gonna buy a striker, second striker, but we need two midfielders because that's not gonna work for me. And people can complain, yeah, Casemiro looks done, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. But if you have two midfielders like Bruno Fernandez and Mount and the spaces they leave him behind, and you expect Casemiro to do everything, I'm sorry it's not gonna work for me. So, yes, Casemiro's not played the best game, and he, you know what? I expect more from him, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to stress that very, very much. But I'm sorry, when you're in that midfield, mate, it's, it should have been better from last season. That midfield last season should have been better. But for me, it's gone worse. How can that happen? How could it go worse than last season? So, yeah, I wasn't confident, and I was rightly justified. And I let Toby do what he needs to do, you know? But go for it, Toby. Oh, before Toby, um, before, Toby goes, before Toby goes, and Toby, you know, please feel free to go when you go. Like, go, go. But <laughs> I just, just want to say, I just want to say, um, you didn't have much chess for United, fair enough, no problem. And you know what? A lot of yeah. people noticed that, and that was cool, that was calm. But you had a lot of chess about Liverpool being below you lot. And if you're thinking and you're talking about your team being this trash, no, I'm, I'm asking a serious football question, man. It's a football show. We don't need to talk about Liverpool, though. Why, why does this sound like... like because we don't need to talk about football. <laughs> but, but, but what I'm it's saying... Is... Up, man. Let's stick to the point. St- talk about the game. Why do we need to talk about Liverpool? Okay, no problem. He's hurt. Yeah, man. Let Toby he's go. Hurt. It's always about Liverpool. Yeah, 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 he's 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 no, no, no. Let, let, let Grim say what he wants. Right, because where are you even going with that, man? Just chill out. Let Grim... Guys, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let, let's let Grim say what he wants. I have my angle, but no problem. Uh, yeah, when, no, when, when no, it's, when, no problem. Because <laughs> Saeed, Saeed, he may not have gassed up the game, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, but he gassed up a specific player. He said, yeah. he called Romero a bum. He said, Lisandro's this, that, and the third. If I told you a centre back <laughs> from that game assisted assisted a goal for the opposition, scored a goal for the opposition, got dribbled past three times, and got put on his ass by by Basuma, would you say that that centre back had a good performance? Nope. Well, of course, I'm, no, I'm you not wouldn't. saying Lissandra Martins has had a good performance. I don't care what you said right now. I care about what you said on Thursday. Because on Thursday, you were talking smoky about this guy. I told you that he yeah. was rubbish against Wolves and got subbed at halftime. You said, oh, no, it's a precaution. He's this. Uh, Romero's a bum. He was injured, though. I don't care what he was. He got subbed at okay. halftime because he had a stupid, he had a stupid yellow facts. card. Okay. He had a stupid, he had a stupid yellow card, and he was running the risk of getting sent off because he was moving like an absolute madman against Wolves. Now against Spurs, against Spurs, yeah, he's got his nice passes, and of course he's a very good centre back. But you, here you go, gassing him up to the to the high heavens. He was poor against Spurs. He was poor, and in the second half, he got ran through. Like your entire team, he got ran through. And it's no coincidence that he's the one that <laughs> he's the one that, that that assisted both our goals. And the great, the great, the, you called Romero a bum. You actually had the cheek to call Romero a bum. You said, "Let's see what he's going to do." He is a bum. Oh yeah, he's a bum. So why didn't he play like a he, bum he, against? He, he, he only considered you guys. Hey, 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 it's my turn. To talk. It's my turn to talk. It's my turn. When you okay. talk, when you were speaking, I didn't interrupt you. Why didn't Romero play like a bum against you? Because uh, by my estimations, he had several blocks, rarely wasted his passes. Very good in the tackle, but obviously you want to talk about a handball that wasn't really a handball. If he's diving for the ball, where's he meant to put his hand? Where's he oh meant to put days. his hand? You, you, you come lord up. up. You know that's a handball. No, 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 yes, no, no, no. You, you, you know that's yeah, a handball. You, you see you, you see you, yeah? You see you, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. What about me? You're ultra disrespectful when it comes to other people's defenders, right? When Lisandro, when Lisandro has his faux pas, when he when he messes up, you don't you don't speak with the same vim about Lisandro that you do about other centre-backs. You don't. You don't. You let everything go past. When it's Lisandro, I don't hear anything from Saeed. 
right? When it's other centre backs, oh, he's a bum, he's this. You were cool. you had the audacity to call Van Dyke Van Disney, and yet I'm seeing Lisandro when he's I'm seeing Lisandro get nosebleeds when when I'm asked when he's being asked to to push slightly further than the halfway line, and you have the audacity to talk about other centre backs. Listen, do you spot Liverpool? You, what's that? Why, why are you backing Van Dyke? You spot Liverpool. No, it's, it's not about it's supporting Liverpool. Right now, it's not about supporting it? Liverpool. It's about you. It's about you judging your <laughs> centre back to the same standard that you judge others. Your centre back, Lisandro, the butcher, Pat Butcher, he's allowed to do things <laughs> that other centre backs would do that you'd criticise, and you don't criticise him for it. Listen, why is that? I have criticised. Why is that? And ask. The game answer my Tottenham. question. Why don't you? Why don't you scrutinise the great butcher to the level that you scrutinise other centre backs? Listen, I think for me, the, the, the reason why I don't do that for Romero is I, I for me, believe that Sancho Martin is a better defender than Romero. And I think I you don't care what you believe. believe I don't care what you believe. And you also, him a bum. this idea you that you're gassing up I Romero, by the way, when he could have seen you guys a bum. penalty, You that's called wild him a bum. Both, both wild. defenders were on the same football pitch on Saturday. Who was the better defender on the day? The bum or the guy that, that the you guy could see the penalty? Answer Your my defender question. The Answer penalty. my question. On Saturday, who was the better centre-back? The he guy you call the bum, the guy you he call the bum, or, or the butcher. Who was, who was Do you know the that? better centre-back on the day? Do you realise that? You're praising a guy who nearly than... cost your team stop, if it wasn't stop for the referee. Deviating. Stop, stop deviating. It's brother. not deviating, though. No. It's the, the fact best it was the penalty, the and your defender, your defender that you're glorifying answer right now question. was reckless. Why are you like not answering my question? So reckless. Reckless. You're calling the guy diving on the floor, blocking the shot, reckless. He didn't, bear in mind, he didn't take out Locking your player. Shot. He used he his hand to block anybody. the shot. What are you talking about? He used his hand. So basically there, he's cheating, basically. So, you're, cheating. so what are you praising cheating? You. He's cheating. Because he put you his hand out there and blunt, blunt the referee. A Man United fan talking cheating, to me man. about cheating. You've got it some is cheating, cheating though, because he blocked You've the referee. Front, honestly, I don't. Know, <laughs> simple like, as that. Like, what, what, what world, what planet do you live on? Some of the <laughs> things you say, like, I don't even think you actually understand what you're saying. Is that not you, a Man United fan? You're calling me a cheater. What planet do you live on? What no, planet I call do you, you live a cheater. on? I call Romero a cheater. What planet do you live on? <laughs> I didn't Genuinely. call you a cheater, bro. Brother, don't take it this is planet Earth. Don't take what personal. planet do you live on? Because you're not making sense here. Right, you called one centre back. back a bum. I don't understand this. Nah, bro, you called one. I don't even. The thing is, I don't even. I don't even have any beef against Lisandro. I think he's a. I think he's a good centre back. But sometimes you had a bad game. You, put too, you had a bad sometimes, game. Sometimes, sometimes you just put too much dip on the chip when you're talking about my centre back. And I'm like, wait, hang on a second. Nah, you can't be talking about this same Leecher, the butcher that got put in the spin cycle by by Mo Salah, that got put on on his ass by Basuma the other day. That got mangled by Jesus at Old Trafford. The you same the stats, Ricardo that you Romero. Lost, the same, same leader that you, know you looked up. Yeah. Do you know the stats That's... regarding Romero and Alessandro Martinez? Do you know the stats? I don't care about the stats. Do you know I, Romero I, I, has I got twice the, the errors of Lissandro Martinez? That's the facts I'm dealing care. with right now. I don't care about That's any the of that. So I'm you don't deal with facts. Saturday. Are you not dealing with facts? I'm talking I'm about Saturday. Lissandro Romero. Has has as twice as many errors as Lissandro. Okay. I'm just dealing with the fact. Care. So when you put them on a par and you say Romero is better care. and Romero is this and that, I didn't even say Romero is better. I didn't even. That's that, and that's where you fucked up. That's where you fucked up. I didn't even say Romero is better. You, no, but you talked about, ra- no, you talk about you rashness. Big, no, you talked no, no, about rashness. You talked about a player that was error prone. When you, your guy is making more errors than Lissandro, you opened your big mouth and called Romero a bum. So now I'm asking you a question. Who played better on the weekend? The guy you called a bum or the guy you load up as one of the best centre-backs in the league? Who played well, you know better? that question anyway. You know the question. You know the answer. No, I want you to answer it. Romero had a better game. Romero oh, had, yeah. had a better game. Okay. Well, talk about was, Romero was, then, was, Why are you focused on Alessandro? Talk about how Romero played a better game. Talk about what he did. No, 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 no. I'm not going to let you spin this on me. You called him a bum. I'm asking you. Talk, 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 about, him. talk about what Romero did. So I just want you to assess... Your great butcher's performance. Listen, Simple. he didn't have a great game. I, I said it in my match reaction. I don't know if you've seen my match reaction, but I said it everywhere. I've been talking about it. He didn't have a great game. I, I did still, see your match reaction. Me, it wasn't covering. enough for me. That's I still think for me, I still think for me, he's recovering from injury. Listen, you can get the violins yeah. out, but I still think it was yeah, a horrific yeah. injury that what he had. Surprise. He's and recovering. He's still recovering. From I don't yeah. think he's much fit. Played the entire preseason, but like he's still recovering from injury. No, I'm not going to let you finish. He's still recovering from injury. How are you talking to me about injury? He's still recovering. He's still recovering from I don't injury. think he's much fit yet. Bullshit. I still don't think Bullshit. he's much fit and ready. He played shit against Wolves and he was poor against Spurs. Hold that. Hold your L's and firm it. Stop hiding behind no injuries, 
right? If he's as good as you say he is, hold him to that standard. That's just my opinion. Hold him to that standard. If he's as good as you say he is, hold him to that standard. Don't tell me about no fucking injury, please. Please, no, don't tell me about, about injury. injury, but it's about recovery. <laughs> don't tell me about no injury. Don't tell me about no injury. Don't tell me about no That's just the yeah. way I kind of look at it in my half. I yeah. don't think he's fully recovered yet from his injury. But oh, again, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, that sure remains to be seen. But it doesn't sure deflect, though. That was just one one part of the argument. Oh, doesn't and I ain't even finished as well. I ain't even finished as well. But for so me, Luke Shaw was poor. Can you talk about Luke Shaw? Let me switch from Lisandro. Fine, don't worry. We don't need to talk about the butcher anymore, yeah? Let's talk about that scrub on the right-hand side for you. I, and I've been telling you for months and months. I'll keep saying it. There, there was a point in the second half where Mickey van der Ven and Destiny were, were actually laughing at this guy. He had the ball, stood up van der Ven, and he's trying to jinky-jinky. And I'm and <laughs> van der Ven just standing there staring at this guy thinking, what the hell is he doing? <laughs> just took the ball off him and ran off with it. Why? Because he's crap. Jinky, jinky. Because he's crap. Man, he's Brazilian and he thinks he's jinky, jinky. We all he know. can't do it. Too weak, too <laughs> slow, can't pass, doesn't score. He's crap. He's absolutely crap. And the sooner you get it, the better. This guy, hand on, we were talking about worst transfers in the yeah, Premier League. Yeah, yeah. How much was he? This guy... This guy is you hand on heart, he heading. He's heading to the top of the pops. Genuinely, bro. He's heading to the top of the pops. You, you know, top of the pops, the adverts. Yeah, you see when it called. Now nah, that's what I call magic. You now nah, that's you what I call the music. Pop, Forty-seven. The music wow. one. Yeah. He's heading to the top. Oh, that was of the my era. Anyway, the worst signings in the prem. I'm telling you, this guy is garbage. He's rubbish. He offers Man United eighty-five so million euros. Eighty-five million pounds. Eighty-five million pounds. This guy cost. Yeah. He's had more platform than most of your most of your wide, most of your wide players outside of Rashford. The guy is ass, and the sooner you get it through your head, the better. He's rubbish. You're going nowhere fast when you have scrubs like Anthony in your team and your midfield. You said everything I needed to say about your midfield. The funny thing yeah. is, Man United were actually decent in the first half. Right? I felt. I first felt. Half. But the game's not the first half, is it? It's yeah, yeah, you know, exactly. I thought Man United were the better side in the first half. You created more chances. I think we were fortunate that you didn't take your chances, even though we created some chances towards the end. But there you go again with Man United. Shocking midfield, leaving Casemiro on the island. Mind you, he was terrible in the second half, but Mason Mount, positionally irresponsible. Bruno, don't know what the F he was doing. The team's just a mess. And it's so easy. The way we were talking about Liverpool last season, about how it's so easy to get Liverpool through the middle, that's Man United. That's Man United. Home and away, it's going to be... It's open season for any team in the Premier League now. They're looking at your midfield and they're licking their lips. No physicality, right? No dual ability, no speed, right? No ability to control a game of football. It's it's crap. And like you said, you've added 60 million to that midfield and it looks worse. You've added That's 60 million pounds to that midfield and it looks worse. So big problems for Man United. That's a big problem, man. Listen. I'm going to let the other guys speak on Spurs. I already know yeah, what let Spurs them, let them, Yeah, yeah. I want to hear. I want to hear what everyone has to say about. Uh, I, I really. You're looking about, good. About, about I, 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 yeah. Yeah, I remember watching Spurs. First game was it last season, where I said it's one of the worst performances I've ever, like the most boringest performance I've ever seen. Worst performance. I can't remember. It was first game of last season. I thought Spurs were a breath of fresh air, man. Like proper. It's like I'm so happy to see Toby happy again and and involved in football again. Toby, welcome back to football, man. Like Toby's, Toby's been dead when it comes to football for about twelve months. But the passion, as you guys have seen, the fire is back, and I think it's more to do with his club than. Yeah, of course it's more to do with his club, but like, but more so not not the win, but the style I think, and the and the application of the players, even in the first game, and I know, uh, you know, we shouldn't boast about each other's calls. But I did say Basuma is going to be one of the players of the season, man. This guy's going to have a comeback season and a half. And you know what? How many players were there on that pitch? Like worth how many? How many? How many? How many? Sorry, how many? How much were the transfer fees for some of the players on that pitch? But Basuma was the standout. He bullied every single guy on that pitch. Uh, and yeah, man. Shout out to to Huey as well for for telling us about uh, this uh, fella, Ange. And I mean, big up Huey, man. He told us that this is going to be uh, uh, Angeball. It's early days. Like, yeah, like no, no, it's early days. No, no, it's early days. It's early days. I hear what that. I said to you. Remember that time? Remember that time I went on the rant? I was, not even a rant. I was kind of pitching Ange to you. I was like, trust me. It'll be a breath of fresh air. You'll yeah, play man. football that you haven't seen in years. And you'll win some games that you don't expect to win. 
he's actually taken me by surprise, Ange. He has at how quickly he's rejuvenated and galvanized the Spurs just as a football club. You lot as a fan base just seem to be a lot happier um, with what you're seeing. You're beating big six clubs. And you're going into games with a bit more chest. You're, you're just generally, you, you seem like a happier guy. I know you're still an argumentative fuck, but you seem like a happier argumentative fuck. So I'm, I'm happy for you. And I want yeah. consistent thanks and apologies for giving you this bum from many, the Scottish how many, how many episodes are you going to ask me to apologize to you? Every oh, goddamn oh, one, you, brother. Every goddamn you one. Every you every single game, guys. Episode Chill out. To apologize. And you should be. You should it's be you should be two games. Guys in every single episode without problem. It's been two games, the way guys, you have yeah. flip flopped on this manager and and on this whole situation, oh, you, that that yeah, yeah, that's you you yeah, you talk about the way Saeed flip flops. You were cussing oh, the manager okay. out. You were like, oh, <laughs> "This is me. I don't care. I don't care." There's nobody from the Scottish. This is me. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Oh, Grizz, oh, you're, we you're have shameless now. Are you shameless now? We need to have I, this, that, the third, okay. and literally taking you. It's not even taking you the season to start. In pre-season, you were already flapping your gums about oh, this manager. And I'm shit. having to come back. I was come watching his streams. I was actually on watching his streams as well. I said, who the fuck is this on Twitter? Yapping his gums away, <laughs> talking about the style of football. I swear it was Hugh that told you this. Now, you better apologise. Every damn week. Because this wasn't your manager. It's like, that's not Saeed's midfield. This is not your manager. This is not your manager. You wanted a top manager. That is my so you manager. Can, you can fuck off with your top manager. That's my manager. Yeah? Hold, you can hold can that. Take, can you I, that's hold that. my manager, can I take yeah? back all the that's nice things I said? That's my manager, yeah? Toby, <laughs> shut the fuck up. Yeah, no. <laughs> like everything that I said about you being happy, but just reminded me you disrespected. Me. <laughs> I just remembered. Listen. I said to you, Angela Postolo Koglu is your level, and you went, "What? Why is he my level? Why is wait, he my wait, level?" Wait, 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 and now you're ass licking. Shut the. F- no, 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 no. Grizz, no, no, no. You Grizz know, is not. You, you, you don't deserve he him. He said Michael Louis, Carrick. Cool shout out to you. Grizz Michael said Carrick. Michael Carrick. Popolo, Popolo Scoop, same thing. All right? The, the point of the matter is Matisse just no, no, reminded no, 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 no. me. Thank you, Matisse. Because this is, nerd made notes. And you know what? <laughs> your mouth. Right, mate, I'm not no, hearing it no. from Grizz. I'm not hearing it from Grizz. I'll hear nah, it from nah, you. you did not. I'm not hearing it from Grizz. Name. You was not nah, humble. No, 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 no. It was arrogant. You were like, Spurs? We're Spurs, mate. We're Spurs. Not Where hearing it from my... you. Not hearing it from <laughs> you. Not hearing it from Grizz. I'll hear it from you. Oh, he's... Not hearing it from Grizz. And Matisse, hmm, your time will come in the stream. Don't worry. But... <laughs> Brother, <laughs> I'm, just getting, I'm just getting there early. You think, you think, you think, what you think you've saying. diverted the heat? You haven't. You better keep no, that hoodie I'm on. Getting, I'm just getting, better getting keep that hoodie on. Early. Yeah, keep that hoodie on. Turn that neon light behind you red because it's going to be a red. A red is tomorrow. Is today Monday or Tuesday? It's going to be a red Tuesday today. Anyway. So I'm um, told. Red. <laughs> did did Levy did Levy make a good decision with Ange? Uh, Fuck Levy. Nah, nah, nah. Great decision. <laughs> when are you gonna apologize to me about your owner? I'm, not, I'm, never, I'm never. I'm never. You ha- Tobes, you have to be willing to praise him when he has done right. You can you can go, you can complain about all the issues that you've had with Ange or um Levy in the past and what he's done wrong, but he's quite clearly got something right, and you're allowed to say, you know what? He's got it. He's got it right this time. Because you're happy no. with the manager, so why can't you say no. he's responsible? He said no. He didn't. He didn't want to go for Ange in the first place. Yeah, but no. he got him. He got him. Yeah, he, he got, got him. him. He, he, he got him because he stumbled across him, and it wasn't even it wasn't even him that was going for him. What's that guy, Scott Munn? Wasn't he the one that was working with Ange Postecoglou in um in Australia? Right? Was it Australia? I can't remember yeah. what team it was in Australia. Exactly. So I, that's not Levy. That's that's Scott Munn. Scott Munn is the one that was influential. You Scott in, Munn. He's is our he like director um, direct. See what is it? Chief, chief oh, football. You're sorry, like who, who, well. who, who hired who, who hired Tim Tobes? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Joe Lewis. <laughs> Joe Lewis did, didn't it? Yeah. Joe Lewis hired him. You gotta put some respect on Lee. All roads lead like, back to one man. He's trying to change the culture of the club, Tobes. Yeah, he's trying to change yeah. the culture by bringing in a, a, pr- a process manager, and the process is off to a good start. So you're allowed sit back a bit for once and be like, you know what? Nah, it's no, actually all right. I'm not. Sorry, no, because he sacked the process manager. I'm going, of, he sacked the process manager, so I'm not giving him credit. I'll give him credit when it's, yeah. when it's due. It's only two games in. I'm not giving him credit for finally bringing us a, a Yeah, we need to relax after, as well. Exactly. After sacking yeah, they, the also, they also it's wanted their, games in. that Feyenoord it's manager as well. They also wanted that Feyenoord manager, but they didn't want to play the release course or something like that. Exactly. So. exactly. Yeah, so... We wanted, so now you know, they did stumble on cross lunch. Luis Enrique, and then we end up on Ange Postecoglou. Oh, no, but you should praise Daniel Levy. Nah, man, get out of here. Nah, not having that. 
I have Sorry. to say, um, I'm sure Fuad won't mind me bringing this across, but he did say Destiny was going to be a top three left back in the world in a few years. <laughs> I, I, I don't know how yeah, people feel about that's that. Wild. that but I don't it, know about that. Uh, look, I don't know about that. I like it. it was a very impressive performance. I'm not going to yeah, lie. Yeah, look, top three in the world is like... Is it my fantasy, man? ...someone who's been doing balloons in the night. But that's fine. You know what I mean? I don't know about that. <laughs> but in terms, <laughs> in terms of a baller, he's serious. You can tell mm. he's got that, everything about him. Energy, robustness. He's decent on the ball. You know what? He's a one-on-one. I know you guys like using this line. You and Toby got this one-on-one demon thing, yeah? Like, going on, yeah? But this guy is a one-on-one. You do not get past him. Um, I, I, I'm going to keep... Oh, listen, we should all keep an eye on this and see if anyone takes him on in this league, in this Premier League. I don't think you can beat this guy, you know, that one-on-one. Honestly, we Toby, you know more, you've seen him more than me. But I, what from what I've seen... This guy is destined, pardon the punt, no, fuck, include the punt. He's destined for the top, bro. He's destined I, for the top. I think with him, we need to, obviously, it's only two games, right? And it's, I, I love Destiny, but it's only two games. And one was against one of the worst wingers in the Premier League in um, in Anthony. And the, other, the, other, <laughs> the, the other was against Mbwemo, which I felt I felt he did quite well in. So Boy, Mbwemo's dangerous, bro. Mbwemo's dangerous. So, so far, so good. Um like, I, I just want to manage expectations with him. I don't want to put too much pressure on him. But that being said, he looks a serious player. Like, very, serious. very serious player. Like, I, I'm I, I'm even shocked by how quickly he's been able to just acclimatise to to what the manager wants. And I'm not just talking about the league. I'm talking about pre-season as well. He just looks comfortable. And comfortable. again, like many players that have been introduced into the team, there's a breath of fresh air. I thought our goalkeeper, Vicario, a lot of people were giving him pelters after Brentford. I thought he was really good against nah, You Manny need to United. calm down on him. Yeah, he, he looks... Yeah. He, 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 he didn't look all that, to be honest. You need to calm he down. Was good he made Manny a world is safe, though. He made one world is safe. I think yeah, it was, he was one. Good was against one Manny Manny even even um, Pape Matasar as well. Like I've been screaming yeah. for this guy to get, to get minutes at Spurs. I've been screaming for months. Play him, play him. He's ready for, for first team football and Yogi, he looks bro, really good, cool. man. So again, I have to be thankful for Ange Postagoglu for like giving these guys a platform to to do their business, man. So hopefully it continues. But as I said, it's early days. We need to see how we're how we're gonna get on. Cause I'll be real, as good as we were in the second half, like I said to Saeed in the first half, we could have easily been one or two no down. And Man United were able to shut shut down our ability to play out. Um, play out from the back so obviously it's things that we need to work through which is why I'm saying it's teething issues right we st- still at the start of this new process so we need to give it time to to stick I actually wanted to speak to Saeed on Ten Hag man because I feel like obviously a lot of people are getting on Mason Mount and rightly so because I feel like his two first performances for Man United have been stinky as hell but Ten Hag for me I, he's the one that should be getting the blame for Man United's midfield not Mason Mount, because I feel like Ten Hag chose to buy Mason Mount. Like, Mason Mount didn't force right. himself on Man United, but Ten Hag went out of his way to pay crazy money, and I'll say it again, crazy money, £60 million of a year left for Mason Mount, who doesn't 65. play in central midfield. Yeah, he 65. He's right. Yeah, yeah 65 million. He, he's not a CM. Doesn't matter what what, what he nope. feels like he can be. He's not a central midfielder. And people can say, yeah. oh no, it's only two games in and you need to give it time. Yes, you do need to give it time. But we've also been watching Mason Mount in this same Premier League for the last four or five years. And nobody has ever said, oh wow, this guy will thrive in central midfield. Nobody's ever said that. Nobody has ever said yeah. that. His, his MO this, is... This why I was attack. so negative towards it. You know, I, I, you know what it is with me? It's because I'm, if if he came from another league and I didn't know about Mason Mount, I'd be getting willing to give time. And I'd be like, you know what? Let's just see. It's the first couple of games. And you know what I mean? Let him acclimatise the Premier But we've seen him at Chelsea. And yes, there's been good elements in certain seasons. But the last two, I just look at it and I'm like, yeah, average for me. But you then have to use him well in the system. If, listen, it's a, it's a different environment, different team. The way we're trying to do it, we're trying to counter press with, um, with Bruno and, and Mason Mount. And when we try to do that, it leaves massive holes. And this is a problem. Ten Hag's naivety is to think that, you know what, the fullbacks for me are not dropping in as well. You see in the goal, look at Shaw not coming across to get that and, 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 and be aggressive to, to clear that one out. It doesn't do that. So I feel like for me, it, it won't work. And, and ultimately, that's on Ten Hag. I don't think, I think to be honest with you, 
it was a split in the fan base as to bring who to bring in uh, Mason Mount or not. But I was strongly against it because I looked at last season and I thought, does it need Mason Mount in that midfield? Does it really need to? And yes, his abilities are off the ball are better. But ultimately, you've got to do something when you have the ball as well. And both of them are not good enough for me. Yeah, the way he presses, I get it. It's it's better than Ericsson. But bro, listen, Ericsson, like I love Ericsson, but he ain't got no legs. So anything's impressive. You know, on top of Ericsson. So, listen, that's his signing. Whether he, he dies moved. on that hill is another thing. Yeah. But he is out injured now until yes, I think he after the international break. He just hey. runs. He just runs. Like, that's Mason Mount, like, that's not... he's got... Bro. The thing is, Mason Mount, objectively, is not a bad player. I think he's he's a good player when you put him in the best position possible, which is as close to the opposition box as possible. But you got Bruno right? there, though. So, so what's but the that's, point? That, you got Bruno there. The, but that's the point I'm making. Like, that's his best position. He can't play deep. When he was at his best yep. at Chelsea, getting getting all those numbers, he was being played as the most, the, the furthest forward of a three-man midfield, or he was being put right. out on the wing. Like, let's just let's just be real here. Like, Mason Mount has been um, majorly misprofiled by by Ten Hag. Like, it's just silly. It's probably maybe, maybe, it's not, maybe ask, this is Ten Hag. Wanna, maybe yeah, we I have wanna, to I wanna, judge I ask, Ten Hag. This wanna, is Ten Hag football. I want to ask uh, Saeed similar questions he yeah. asks other people. And yeah. I want to know, when do you start asking questions of mm. Mr. Eric Ten Hag? Mm. At what point? I think I'm asking start... him right now. Well, really? When do you start yeah. making streams with the headlines? And talk Ten about Bruno as well. Who? Talk Bruno, about Bruno. You know about my thoughts on Bruno. Yeah, no, but Bruno, he's been staying he before as well. But Ten Hag, he, like, they all welcome him as this tactical genius. For what purpose, I don't know. He, he must have done something. I can't remember what, but he done something with them, right? But what has he done with them? Like his record against you guys are talking about the top six, apparently the top eight. I don't think he's won a yeah. game. Do you, do you see a style of play nearly two years in now? Do you see an identity? Do you see where your team is going? Do you see a successful future is my ultimate question. With this manager, and if not, then when do you start doing streams? Listen, I, I think for me, I think there's you know, it is the identity is not strong. I think the style of football is not strong. I think there are patches of his style there. I think there are patches of what he likes in his identity the counter pressing, winning the ball buck high up the pitch, building out from the back. You can see it with Onana, you can see it with, with, um, with uh, Lissandro Martinez. You've got the overlapping, underlapping fullbacks. Juan Bissaka has done better in that aspect. Luke Shaw in the inverted role as well. So there are some elements, Chris, but I'll be honest with you. Listen, if it's for 45 minutes, then is it really a style of play? Because I have to be open and honest and I'll be like, I can be gassed at certain stages, but if you can't do it away from home when it's cold, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's rugged. You've got the Tottenham Stadium. Apparently, it was, it was, it was, you know, Patrick told me that it was, atmosphere was booming and you know what? It was... You know, you've got to be ready for all these occasions. And like I said, man, it's not in its entirety. Whether that's coming from Ten Hag's stubbornness, whether that he don't trust certain players, whether he maybe wants certain players to come in. There's transfer windows still open. We do need two midfielders. Is it complete? You know, there's a lot of questions, but there's not enough answers, Grizz. I'll be honest with you. And I think it's fair if if rival fans think that, you know what, is there a style of play? Because it is a bit similar to what Oli did, transition football. But it's a bit more polished, but still is it enough to sustain a consistency in the Premier League? And that's why I said I don't think my United could challenge for the league this year because it isn't good away from home and home. Are you so still I have to be open and honest. Still man, second. Second. What did you say, Chris? Is, are you still finishing second? I didn't say second, I said third. Third. Are you still finishing third? What he said second. The guy who was second, yeah. The guy who was waffling earlier on. About you're about me. We, we discussed you in a minute. <laughs> Bro, he, he said some wild stuff last stream, you know. <laughs> and you know he heard it. <laughs> sometimes maybe good, sometimes maybe shit. Maybe <laughs> shit. <laughs> I play mind games. Let, let me let me re, re, Yeah, it's mind games. I get it. Yeah, I get it, man. It's good. It's good. Okay. Well, we're I, doing revised, we're doing good. revised predictions at the end of the transfer yeah. anyway. That's the serious ones. That was just yeah. some No, we're not. No, we're not. Yeah. Yeah, we are because the transfer is not. You make free yeah. changes, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. you have to make free changes. changes. Mm, mm, mm. Well, yeah. see, see what I mean the about these rules? Next rules, just where did that one come from? I don't remember. Um, uh, last show, wild, card. wild card. Mm. 
one change you'll have to yeah. make. Wild no, card. Three, 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 three. You get two in, in the game, but we added the extra three. You got a no yeah. man. You know, I thought you, I thought you before that, Grizz. No, I thought you'd one of your changes. Especially because your your business in the window is not done, so we're helping you. It's not done, bro. You could be title challenging soon. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Don't worry about it. You have enough yeah. on your plate to last you a lifetime. I'm just saying, though, it helps you a lot. You have enough on your plate to last a lifetime. That's what I'm listen, man. I, it wasn't a great Liverpool performance, and we'll get into it. But listen, man, you, you still, I still think there's a bit of. I know you, you know, think, brother. That's the problem when you think. <laughs> ah, listen. The evidence shows last season. You know, Actually, so. Hugh, you wanted to ask Saeed something, or was I mistaken? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was kind of just um, off the back of the last conversation about Ten Hag. I just wanted to know genuinely: are, are you disappointed with Ten Hag so far? Because when he came in, I, I know you were very excited, and I understood that because I, I quite, I understood what you were excited about. You know, an evolution of the football, and it would be better than what you'd seen yeah. under Ali and previous managers. Are you disappointed with how how it's gone so far with transfers, the the lack of evolution and start of play? It's not been as linear as I think you originally thought it would be. Yeah, no, you're right. I think it would, it's not as been as convincing as I, as I thought. Let's see, I gave it a blige because we finished third. And when you finish third and the season before that, we finished, what, sixth, seventh? It's a, it's a big jump, you know. And is it where United should have been anyway last season before that? No. But still, third and a cup. I always say that's not a bad season for a first season for a manager who's come from a different league. But I did stress, though, this season, I want to see a better style of football. I want us to get closer to the to, to the top two. And I want us to be better away from home. If them three things are not met, then serious questions have to be asked of Ten Hag and whether he's, he can actually do it for the next season following. Because for me, he's getting these players that he wants. Okay, there's, there's better players in, you know, if you look at Harry Kane and whatnot, but there's a situation that you can't really control because he wanted to go Bayern and Bayern willing to pay that money and we didn't have that money. But there has to be an evolution of style of play and that has to come for me sooner rather than later because the fans are not happy, man. You know what I mean? I, I'm, I'm a patient guy because I always think you sat this manager who comes in after. You know what I mean? It's, it's too much change. You have to give the manager time. But also, this is Premier League. It's ruthless. You don't get time. And ultimately, feel- results speak for himself. Yeah, I think with Ten Hag, bro, I think obviously he earned he earned credit and trust of the club to actually spend more money this season. Um, obviously, got you back into the Champions League, won a trophy, right? Obviously, he did it. He he did he he got you the results, even though the performances were not stable throughout the season. Like you had your periods where you were good, but you had your periods where you weren't. And the one constant was your away form. It wasn't good enough, but there were a lot of allowances because. Last season, he inherited a team that wasn't really his. You had the Ronaldo issue. Yeah. You lost Paul Pogba in a free transfer. Exactly. Obviously, we, we know that he overspent massively on poor players in in um, Anthony's case, right? But ultimately, your squad, let's be real, man for man, was not good enough to get into the top four and he got you into the top four. So mm-hmm. I think he's won. He's still got credit in the back. But this season, obviously, no one's saying get rid of Ten Hag right now. But this season... He seriously has to be held to account for how Man United play because two seasons in, there really needs to be a consistent style um, implemented in this team. Even he, he said he's himself, he wants to be a team that are great in transition. Cool. But you don't even have any good ball carriers. You don't really have, outside well, of Marcus you, Rashford, you don't even have anyone in the team that can that can change defence um, defense into attack like that. So if, if it's transition ball you want to play, get players suited to that style. If it's possession-based, oh, so no. play, get players suited to that style. Like this season, it's a big season for Ten Hag, man. I'm not expecting him to get sacked because I feel like Man United know that he's a good manager. However, I feel like he needs to get it right in terms of how how you guys want to play. And also, you guys need to sort out whatever is going on behind the scenes where, he, where um, that stops him from having total say on the players you bring in because... There's a disconnect right. there. Like that doesn't even make sense. Some of the players that I see you guys linked to, and it's just like, what is actually going on here? I see you linked to Onana. What? I think I think cool. Ryan Gravenberg will probably be the one well, that's more like heavily that. linked. I think. Sorry. No, no, he's talking about Onana. You don't rate him like that. Why did you say it like that? The Everton one. No, I don't. I no. think he's. I think he's. No, I watched him on the weekend. I, I don't. As well. No, I'm. I'm with you. A lot of people do, though. A lot of people rate him. Why do? He's, he's not consistent enough, man. And he's I've not. He's not. Ball. He's not he can't trap a ball. He can't pass. He's years, chasing man. his touch all the time. I agree with you. I agree with yeah. you. I agree with you. Gravenberg and uh, Amrabat for me. 
that, that that's where the window can be saved. But Liverpool want Gravenberg as well, man. So, but even Gravenberg, man, I'll be honest with you, I was speaking to some some uh, Ajax fans today, man, and they're saying it's not what United need, man. You know, so I don't know, man. It's interesting what we do in the next two weeks because Mason Mount's injured now. We need some players ASAP. But he's... based off based off Liverpool this summer, you shouldn't have an issue beating them to Gravenberg. Mm. Well, hey, they're not, they're not well... great in the races these days. <laughs> But the thing about two more midfielders is you look at the midfield you got already and he's kind of built his free. He's kind of got the free that he wants. Yeah. So do you, is Gravenberg and Ericsson, Amrabat realistic yeah. when they're both going to want minutes? No, you're not getting two. You'd, Ericsson, be, happy. You'd be lucky if you get one. Yeah, you're but the thing is for man. me, I get it. What's realistic? 100% what's real. But you got to remember, Fred's gone. Donny's leaving. Uh, McTominay was meant to leave. And then he's got Ericsson, who for me is on his last legs. You've got Mason, Martin, Bruno, who are similar in what they're trying to do. I but, still think he needs two in there. We've got Champions League football. You rejected, you rejected Come, the offer for McTominay. So, and West Ham have got the players why? that they want in midfield now. So, they, we, Well, West Ham still got time. West Ham, who, whoever's got time has got time, mate. And McTominay <laughs> still has time because we need yeah, to get better bro. quality. But, you know, when you look at our midfield, we, we only have what? With Casemiro, you've got Ericsson and McTominay on the bench. Like, for me, we need more, man. Like, look at, look at Chelsea midfield. Look at your midfield. Like the, the army field isn't there compared to what you guys in terms of your balance, in terms of depth. Like it needs to be better. So we'll see, man. We'll see. We'll see. Still, what nine days left of the window? It's deadline yep. day next Friday. We've got a show next Thursday. So by then, if there's any moves yep. to be made, we should know about it. Let me look at what super chats we've got. And people, there's nine thousand in the building. Forty-one minutes in. Ooh. First thing first, hit the yeah. like button. Let's get the likes up. Make sure you're subscribed. Let's get the subscribers up. We're on the road to fifty k. We've only recently moved over to the official Big Six channel. On. Fourth show on the channel, and the love's been mad. So subscribe. Mad. Hit the like Big button. Numbers. Show the man them some love as well. All channel links are in the description below. Everyone's leveling up this season, so make sure you subscribe all round. Big up Skull too. DMYG says Saeed was the only one who didn't predict the Chelsea win. That Chelsea L was more predictable than a train schedule. Uh, let me separate the United ones from the Chelsea ones because we're moving mm. on to Chelsea next. Um, there's quite there's quite a few Chelsea ones here. There's quite a few uh, here we are. Here we are. Mr. Go in, Mr. VP. As a wise man, Saeed once said, why did you end your stream, Matisse? Why? And also, Turkish, can you guys... Ban that Mrs. Turk, <laughs> bro. You're cheeky for saying ban. They're playing off your name. Yeah, your name that's that's your logo. You change your name, bro. What's this? You're, like, you're complaining about other people. Is there another troll? Account? You don't need to get into it. You don't need yeah, to get it's into all, it. It's all mad. It's all mad. It's okay. all mad. <laughs> Ash says, um, 10 hog, 10 L's, and one draw away from home against the top nine. Oh, 30 shit. goals conceded. Disgusting football and talent ID. Rigged milk cup draw. 400 M's spent. And he's older than Pep. Mad. Sad door says, Saeed, listen to your brother's Kodak. Kodak's friend Kodak. Who's that? Who's that? Uh, listen to your brother's tune to make you feel better. Man, them have a look at Fran. Let me, tell me, let me Google it now. Fran. Tell me he doesn't look like Saeed. Okay, oh, I should have written the whole okay. thing out. <laughs> okay, let me see this oh, guy. Fran, Fran Chodak. Is that who? Chodak, yeah. man, about Chodak. Bro. What are you saying over there? Sorry. <laughs> look at the suspense. 9,000 people waiting for Saeed look alike. Hey. Oh, oh Fran, Fran. his name is Fran with two N's. I don't even know who this is. Sorry. Um, images okay. one sec. Sorry, I'm just waiting for this shit to load. Wow, what kind we'll of we'll on, we'll we'll see his real <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can see why they're saying he looks like Saeed. What is it like? <laughs> <I don't> <laughs> can anyone screen share? Oh, lord, what's they his don't name? Look, they don't look the same facially, but he's just seeing like a guy who looks like Somalian and he's big and he's got the same high top. I'll send it in the chat one sec. Oh, I see, it, I see, it, I see it, I see it, I see it, I see it. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> right, cool. Big up the door. Um, Tim says, "Has anyone seen?" Oh, this is a Chelsea one. Tim, I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna save it. Um, Tobes, are you worried that United created chances for fun at times in that first half? They had had higher xG chances in the totality of the game. Yeah, I mentioned that. I said, like, that's why I was saying, like, we should only calm down. It's only game two. Like, I agree. I think um, it was too easy for Man United to to um, to basically get 
get us to turn over the ball and block our ability to build out. And I felt like it was good that Ange Postacoglu changed things towards the end of the, the half by getting our uh, fullbacks to to go wider, right? Because everything was too everything was too central. And I felt like what Man United did well, and credit to Ten Hag and United in the first half, is they literally blocked our passage of play into Madison. Like we couldn't really get Madison in the game until the last, I would say, last six, seven, eight minutes of the match. I felt Anthony, Garnacho, Rashford, Bruno, um, Mount and Casemiro, they had this like weird shape in the first half, which just stopped everything getting through in cen- into central areas. Because that's where we have our superiority under Ange's new system. So we couldn't, we didn't really have that superiority in the first half. So it's definitely something, something that we need to work on for sure. And we just need to be, we need to be better in possession when teams find a way to negate the way we want to play. And we just need to be more reactive um, to that going forward. But it's game two. Like, I don't yeah, expect yeah. It perfect. It, it, will, it will evolve with time. Very early days. Um, TMB says, big up to the panel. By the way, Tobes is smiling ear to ear for the whole Saeed speech. Hashtag joy. I'm sure he was. HW says, walkies from Kunya, walkies from Basuma and Madison in back-to-back game weeks. Today, I told my dog Casemiro sit and he did without question. Love for the super chat. Mr. Saeed, better send that TB620 discount code to Mr. Ten Hug Me Gently. Looking real hairy out there, pal. Hashtag disingenuous. What a bit, look, Frankie, big up you because I haven't bigged up the sponsors yet. Big up Manscaped people. TB620 is the code. It's 20% off. If you need to get anything, make sure you grab that, use that code, and they know you're coming through us people. Like I said before, they help us create more content. So if you need anything, go over to Manscaped. People show some love. Fuad said on DR Sports that Adogi is going to be a top three left back in two years. Do you agree, Tobes? Point of view, the kid is good, but that's a wild take. Matisse did bring that up. I hope you did hear um, Tobes' response. If you didn't, the rewind button's there or it will be chaptered after the show so make sure you guys look out for that love for the love guys you need to bring back the old intro it was a banger Saeed tell the Glazers to go for Lengley need to go get him at please least get, get, get him out of Barca you mad please you get him absolutely Langley. listen please <laughs> I was going to rather keep Maguire but no not even that man not even that <laughs> big up listen the, the old intro is now the old intro what can we do people we need to move forward we need to live yeah, a life it might make a return one day down the line in terms of best bits and looking back at some of the big six um, content. Maybe we, we we save that for that. But we'll see. It's still in the back pocket anyway. Casemiro needs to take more responsibility, says Josh Wofflin. He's not being, quote, abandoned by Mount. Madison was cooking him all game. In fact, Mason was usually tracking the runners. Cass lost. Fan base is so reactionary. No, nah, I think it's a bit of both there, you know. I think Casemiro hasn't played well in these two games, but I also think he is being left by those by those midfielders. Because when, when United were compact and were very narrow in the first half, you didn't really see um, Spurs. You didn't really see us running past Casemiro. It was only until the end of half time when Madison Basuma were coming deeper for the ball. That's when you started seeing Casemiro get bypassed. But Casemiro is weird. He's got this thing where, like, um, Car- Carragher spoken on it. He's he's meant to be the sitter, but yet he's joining the attack and making runs into the box and stuff. I'm like, ain't that what Mason Mount is there for? Like, why is Casemiro? Why is Casemiro doing that? They need so, to sort like, it out. Uber-ed. That's that, that, that's because... what he means by take more responsibility. Because you are right. I'm not going to say that he doesn't get abandoned that time during the game, but you also look at his profile, what he comes in with, and you do no, expect, that. You expect him to take more responsibility. You expect that, but but, but also. The, 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 he was there last season and it had to be an evolution of what we're trying to do but I just look at it now and I'm like the second half they totally abandoned their their, du- their duties Bruno and Mason, and Mason Mount they, they totally abandoned it and it left him for me well too exposed and I just thought for me it's not going to help and it, it's going to happen more and more if Ten Hag keeps stubbing with it so let's he, see he needs to be better he definitely needs to play better because he no, goes to ground angry. like a he goes to ground like I'm a stripper too much. It's, it's ridiculous. He, he does that all the time, man. man. But at the same time, I, I feel like Man United need to give him some help, man. Like he's 31 going yeah. 32 years old and he can't cover big spaces like he used to. Um, so give him some help, man. Simple. Yeah. 
back to the Simple. super chat more than you can believe more than you believe says never seen two people argue so much over two mid players before Romero and Pat Butcher are both bums and Sean says Tobes how about who's been the better centre back for the past year Chelsea fan by the way not anyone from Chelsea I can tell you that for free <laughs> TMV says maybe he was a butcher in Holland but in England only thing I see him chopping is grass hashtag groundsman Big up the panel, says Felipe. You boys are legends. Just wanted to say United still crap. Chelsea still crap. Spurs look spicy. Liverpool on the rise. Palace got robbed against Arsenal. City still. What's OP stand for? Overpowered. Overpowered. No, I love that. Oh, Overpowered. Oh, oh, that don't make sense, man. <laughs> <laughs> is, on point. Like, is it not City still good or something? Still on point, I reckon. Much love to you. Yeah, I'll point, yeah, good, yeah. Yeah. Much love yeah, to yeah. you guys. Cool. He, he killed me. He said overpowered. It's, it's a gaming <laughs> term. It's a gaming <laughs> term. Overpowered. Oh, is it? Sorry, my bad. Yeah. He, my might, bad. he might be right. He's the youngest of the lot. I'm right. right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but what does he mean? Man, years what, old, what does that mean? Overpowered, though? Is he all right? It means we're yeah. sick. Uh, what are you saying? We're overpowered. Listen, I'm not down with the kids. Tom, forget it, forget it, forget it, forget it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Gareth, big okay. up, man. Hope you're good. Saeed, it doesn't matter who comes into United. It will be the same old, same old. United attract a certain type of player. Egos and retirement plans. Big up, Guna Lee, my guy. Can someone not step in and save Saeed from this massacre? Toby actually dropped the Blasic. See you Thursday, Saeed. Shout out to the gang. It's not often you see Guna Lee and... And Tobes on the same page. Should we right. save this? Mars says Grizz chatting like his team wasn't getting outplayed by Bournemouth at home is crazy. Mm. Liverpool gonna get slapped up by Newcastle and Grizz will cry. Talk about yeah, it. Get, get get the super chats, get the irrelevant ones out of the way, man. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> wow, the military man, what's going on, man? They're all right relevant, now. Grizz, man. Put some respect on the super chatters. I did, I just said in it, get out of the way. Uh, <laughs> I didn't say don't read it out. Right, um, sorry, Brian says if that was McTominay and Maguire, Saeed would rip them a new one. Football is a humbler. Spurs were impressive from a reluctant Arsenal fan. Blue Moon, remember I said Spurs would do bits this year. They need a striker though. Matisse and Saeed, what the fuck? Free at the back by Poch and Mr. No Style of Play, Seven Hog. Pray for a win against Forest, Saeed, because this is surely not looking good for United. No style of play, lazy players. Manager clueless, good show, and the best love for the love, goodness. Hope you're well. It's now obvious United's greatness left with Fergie. Worse still, City have taken over Manny. In five years, United will be what Everton is to Liverpool. Big up, Ali. Mesh says if Toby's chest gets any bigger, he's going to need guy ropes to stop himself disappearing into the upper atmosphere. Let's hold something back until Spurs look close to winning something. My chest ain't even out like that, man. Honestly, I was just roasting Saeed for Lisandro. <laughs> yeah, you're fair. No, no. Do your TikTok, my door. <laughs> <laughs> Mike from Miami. First super chat. Love, love. Mad love to all of you on the show. Question for Saeed. Who is to blame for the United loss? Maguire, David De Gea or the Glazers? Ah. <laughs> uh. Listen, thanks for the super chat. It's his first super <laughs> chat. Let me answer the guy's question. Bro, what do you want me to answer? How do you want me to answer this? I'm just like, super chat. All right, big up, Mike. Um, <laughs> big up, Mike, though. I says, when you rewatched the Spurs United game, there was nothing wrong with Ten Hag's tactics. The issue was player attitude, which is a far bigger issue. Still got to blame the coach, then, if it's the players. Yeah, you still got to blame the yeah. manager. After a year. He's the one that sets the, the tactics. Yeah, exactly. It's a bit of both, man. But, you know, the manager, he's going to take the responsibility. So, mm. yeah. He says, Toby, if, quote, you don't care about other people's opinions, then maybe don't feature on a panel with five other members. Too passive aggressive. Ah. Ooh, that was personal. <laughs> <laughs> he took that one personal. <laughs> Look at his face. That was personal, Thanks. that one. Yeah. <laughs> you, better call him. Hey, Toby, you better call him Biddy. <laughs> even right. relegated 40 side says even relegated clubs get a new manager bounce Spurs will be Spurs and Toes will be off of football before the end of the season again <laughs> that's true Alex says just had to put my dog down after 16 years thanks for cheering wow. me up sorry to hear that Alex that is a very long time and, and I know how um, I know how people can get with animals and whatnot. so um, I did the exact same thing today. 
this morning. Oh, swear. Oh, wow. Yeah, 18 years. 18 years, Adam. Yep, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Sorry, Sorry to hear, bro. Okay. Nah, I just know, I just know how he's feeling, man. I just know how you're feeling, Alex. So I hope you're doing all right. Alex, you, um, big up, big man. Up, man. Roberto says, "I told man, don't sleep on Big Ange. Big up, Tobes. Hold that, you clown, Saeed. Um, hashtag City till I die. Sit the fuck down, Chelsea and United. Glazers at the wheel. Pep from Wish. Lucky, uh, I didn't get no strays in that one, bro. Everyone got strays in that one. <laughs> 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 <Man just> came <laughs> in, <you> know. <laughs> He made the characters yeah. work, the limit. Um, Levy has not changed. This transfer window is a 5 out of 10 with Kane leaving. Levy is right. charging the highest ticket prices for a process season. Still Levy out. Facts. Mount was our best outfield player versus Spurs, but no one is ready to have that combo due to agendas. Rash was worse on more money, yet there's no mention of him. His time will come. Mount was better off the ball than he was on the ball, which doesn't even make sense when he's... a. Uh... <laughs> Offensive midfielder. I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't say he was their best. I wouldn't say he was their best player. No, I think. I think first half, you could mainly put that down to Bruno for me. Even though he should have scored. Um, obviously, May United's good performance there. He set up some very good chances, Bruno. So, but it was it was a collective second half. Everybody was shit. I can't lie. Exactly. So, I'm not gonna praise half performances, man. Yeah, you know I mean, so I don't know. And it says the hype Angie's getting is same as Ten Hag last season. Calm down, lads. Recency bias. Give these managers time, and you'll see their real potential. No, agree. the good <laughs> vibes. No, no, all I'm saying is the good vibes is back. That's what I'm saying. He hasn't done nothing yet. It is good vibes. Good <laughs> vibes. <laughs> and he says respect. <laughs> respect to my bro Tobes. The chicken has doppied the new noisy neighbors. Got to put respect on any team that batters them cheating deadbeats. Phil says, Lancashire Jabroni's mount 007 incoming. Anthony needs the H added to his name. Casemiro, 80s MJ, <laughs> Favela Tribute Act 10, Hog, Ole Ball on Edibles. <laughs> uh, Final Fan says, United fans have 20 bad minutes and then it's why did we sell Fred? Bring on Martial. Go with the wind, FC. Then they will get gassed after a narrow Champions League group stage win. Mm. Oh, here, here it is. Here it is. This is the one <laughs> that, that BP wants blocked. To be honest, with that DP, I might actually block you. Super chat or not super chat. Where's <laughs> he got that photo from, man? Where's that photo from? Send me that photo, please. Bro, it in the vlog. That's on the plane on the way to New York with you, man. Yeah. That's Ryan and, and the vlog. And, can you got Turkish BP? Can you DM the big six account that photo, please? You can get it off one of the vlogs, then I'd say. I'd say it's from one of the videos. You could just screenshot it. Yeah, it's mm. from one of the videos, man. Well, you know what I don't get, though? What do you want man to do on a plane? You're recording me sleeping on a nine hour flight. What do you want <laughs> me to I do don't on get. a plane? Well, it's kind yeah, of my weirdos, they isn't they it? Caught, they caught Saeed yeah, Lackin as well. <laughs> you got caught lacking yeah. heavy Matisse. You got caught lacking <laughs> bad. No, everyone does, yeah, man. Yeah. Everyone yeah. does. Saeed's got one of me as well. Everyone's that first day is the worst day in the his life, man. You'll never forget that day ever again. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> don't put your... you, you were there with don't me with your pizzas, bro. I told <laughs> you you're dumb. I said oh, you made a mention of pizzas again, man. Don't mention them pizzas again. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, Tobes of a masterclass in cookery today, slapping up bum teeth and cried. Moises, actually, that's a Chelsea one. Oh, Let we've already see. roasted me. All fair. We'll move on to other games. Then. Oh, no, 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 no. We've already, we've already, Don't go anywhere, already Matisse, yeah, please. Yeah. Conte's MO, we need to spend 600 mil and you need to give me every player I want or this thing won't work. Dinosaur, Ange, problem solver. That one's from Klinsman's mullet. Shamar says, Cortez from Wilder now, AK. Okay, another Chelsea one. We've got a fair few Chelsea ones, you know. I do 12-hour shifts on many nights. These help. Turkish host, Tobes Wisdom, Said and Matisse's humour, Grizz, Wittiness and Hughes recaps. Love your Dublin. You'll never walk alone. Come on. Come on. Casemiro's been ghosting. The blame gets shifted so much. If this was any other DM, they'd be getting pelted by the panel. Where's this quote destroyer? Asama, question for you, Said. Are you concerned about playing Arsenal in two weeks? with how you guys are playing. Actually, not necessarily a question for now. Obviously, Saeed's even concerned about Forest this weekend, let alone Arsenal in two weeks. So mm, we'll, we'll, hey, we'll, talk, we'll, we'll talk about <laughs> Arsenal next week. Oh, shit. Man, so I'm you know in our league, bro. I'm Man, so you know in our league, bro. Karma, karma, karma. We'll, we'll talk, we'll talk, we'll talk. Um, this is on it. 
You best win something, these guys, you know. Nah, <laughs> that's all I'm saying. You best uh, win something. You know what say I'm saying? No more. Say no more. You confident you're going to win something this year, yeah? I'm confident still. Mm. Okay. <laughs> 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 you know from com- I mean. all right, from confident about winning Saturn to Matisse and, yeah, yeah, that's, that's... and all of that shit, Matisse. The, the the shirt is coming out. The badge is still there, close to your heart. Well, what's <laughs> well, what's this? What's, what what are you doing here? Are you still showing your allegiance to to, to the Chelsea way and and Pochettino, Mudrick, Caicedo, great debut, um, Enzo, decent penalty. Um, yeah, missed anyone? Grizz, Grizz and, and you missed, the, you missed the, the the what what are they calling it the disaster class. Oh, the, oh how can I forget? yes, that's the what they're calling it. The disaster class. <laughs> the disaster yeah. class. Any anybody want to open up? Like, out. I know you. I know you will watch the game. So anybody want to open up? With, or you want me to start? Grizz is wearing sunglasses. Oh, I don't you know why. Oh shit! Why Grizz? Guys nah, I, I think Grizz opens up. I think Grizz because no, Grizz, no, Grizz is what I don't know what why he's wearing shades. So go for it. I'm. I'm. You know why I'm wearing the shades? He, he, <laughs> yeah. No, speak. 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 No, I, I'm not here to cook or I'm not here to roast. Because does your missus know you rub the shades, Grizz, man? I'm here, <laughs> <laughs> well, 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 she doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> Let's skip that part. I'll play just pick them up now. Just remembered. My ones are my one, my bro. First and foremost, man, I, did I did I bring my Ray Bans to New York? I did, in it? They broke, remember? Yeah, I remember. Yeah, they I broke. Remember. Yeah, yeah. They broke anyway. But now I, I don't know why you don't want to start with me because it's not my club. Yeah, but you got your shades on. That's it's why not, it looks like you're ready to. Yeah, your shades on. So I, thought, I thought you had something to your say. Shades yeah. are on, man. No, because Pilot Boy had him on last week, innit? And um, mm. he, was oh. about, he was talking about players. That was because we, that was because we, you know, he we was took talking, a, a, he was, a he was few, talking about player players. Reject, he was talking about club pull, players mm. rejecting our club, their club. You know what I mean? Weak midfield mm. issues at the club. Your club's dead. My club. Oh, so, so the the Bournemouth win has has risen you from your ruins. Yeah, you're this good now. Chelsea, there's a Chelsea section, right? That's you're good. Oh, no, it's, it's good to see that you're good. Okay. That, that, that win against Bournemouth has got you, got you buzzing in there. Okay. So I don't want to. Yeah, 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 close the window. Close, Robert. If, you're, like, if he, will, bad, he, will, he will attempt, he will close attempt, it. and will knock back these attempts. So close let him attempt close the window back. now. This is Chelsea yeah, section, right? Say, close the window. If that Bournemouth win has really pushed you to the next level, Bournemouth, Liverpool, close the window. Close the window. Close the window. Close the window. Chelsea, yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree. Yeah, Chelsea, Chelsea, you know, Chelsea, Chelsea, can you let Grizz speak or what? Uh, no, look, I, I, I'm not gonna. I'm because I'm here to keep it all calm. I'm the community man. I'm here to remind you guys at all times that I didn't say it for a reason. No, sorry. Rewind selector. Start again. I said it for a reason. I didn't say it for no reason when I said football is a humbler. And if this week hasn't humbled a few hundred Chelsea fans because majority of them still won't be humble because they're nasty, arrogant cunts. But if it hasn't humbled a few hundred, then I don't know what will. They spoke so much last week about money, power, pull. What are we going to do to London? There's no other team in London bar us. They hit the streets of West London singing, Chelsea, 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 Chelsea. Chelsea, Chelsea, Chelsea. That's all they did. and they had their certain Chelsea, certain Chelsea influencers. I don't even want to mention them and name them. Doing all kinds of nastiness on the on the on the Twitter and whatnot. We we, we know what I'm talking about. We don't want to mention them even. But if last week wasn't a humbler, is he I'm a friend? Is he a friend of the channel or not? I think he is. Then name Listen, him, man. Bring no, him no, in. No, 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 man. We don't do that shit. But the point being, right? I like <laughs> Matisse. I, I, thought, I like right. Matisse's. Like, I like Matisse's show of solidarity. He's taken off his jacket. You show, show us the badge. Show us the badge. That's the one. Keep the badge in focus. That's right. That's right. I said you keep tapping it because your players didn't show no pride. Your players didn't show none of that backbone. Your players didn't show none of that application that you were showing. Your players showed what they are, a bunch of mercenaries put together by an absolute cowboy of a chairman and his owner. All they are, and I'll keep continuing to say it, is a bunch of mercenaries put together by billionaires 
yeehaw, and get on that pitch and do some shit. Um, that's all it is. It's yeehaw, get on that pitch and do some shit. Because <laughs> that was... This guy is you went to West Ham and you was like, what was that What did that clip say in the, in the morning? What did that clip say? I ain't got nothing to worry about in London. West Ham, you think I'm getting going there to get dominated by... Who did he say, Tobes? Who did he say? The, the couple of plays he mentioned. Do you oh, think I'm going to get there to get dominated by... Ward Prowse? Ward Prowse and them, man. Ward Prowse. Ward Prowse. What was it, two assists? Ward Prowse or one? Yeah. I mean, two, two. I mean, Ward Prowse. What, 25 totally million important. journeyman player? Well, hold on. 25 million journeyman player up against 115 times two in Enzo and Caicedo. Desai. They they thought they're buying Desai, but they bought Desai. <laughs> Desai. <laughs> they actually thought they're buying Desai. <laughs> Idiots. More yee nah. business. That's more yee business. I so mean, it, I don't know it's about crazy. you. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. I don't know about do. you, Matisse. I don't know about you, but I want Listen. to hear your opinion. Yeah, I'm going to give my opinion. Spending, more than your company. More than your company. More than your company. And you've got... More than your company. Jackson up front. More than your company. After listen, one billion pounds, you got Action Jackson listen, up front. Listen, listen. What do you can't believe? What do you mean by that? Second half was second off was, was, second off was, was coming horrendous. from deep down in Grizz's hurt pocket. Yeah, it's it's no, listen, no it's, it's, it's pain. Grizz is Grizz is holding it all right. In the week, Grizz, you, in the week a Crystal Grizz, Palace player turned them down. You are projecting. Let me tell you. Let me tell you something. You're projecting because the last time, last three times I've played your team, you have not outperformed us, and you have not beaten us. We played you. We played you the week before this this and you and you should have lost that game. You were dominated. So. You can you can have your moment in the sun with Chelsea this weekend. It's the second game week of the season. That's what got my shades on. Now you're feeling, shining on me right now. now. You're feeling now you're feeling on top of the world. But when you played us, right, you were dominated the entire second half. Very similar to what you are describing against West Ham. I'm going to take my licks. We were awful in the second half. Absolutely horrendous. We matched what Liverpool did last week, right? It was poor. Four we times Liverpool has been mentioned. By the but, way, guys, keep counting. But very similar to Manchester United, if you watch the game, we should have been 2-3-1 one one Man United. Up. Four two, times three, one up one in the first United. half. And I'm, and I'm disappointed that we didn't take our chances. We missed a penalty. That's Enzo. He shouldn't even be taking it, to be honest. I, I'm, if I don't have a clear penalty taker... In, in, in the team, I'm looking at the striker to take responsibility and take it, not the person that was most expensive. So we should have been winning going into halftime. We 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 had we conceded the first couple of corners in, in six minutes. That should never happen. You know what Ward Prowse is gonna do? You got punished. But then from that moment on, for the for the for the first half, we should, we were dominating. We were we were strolling it, walking it through them, creating chances. Sterling was having a fantastic performance. Enzo up until the penalty was very good as well. But second half, we absolutely collapsed, no doubt about it. But if you want to judge Caicedo coming off um, a lack of preseason for, what was it, 20 minutes, and, and you want to say, oh, Come where's your value for money? If you want to do that, you can do that. Because your, team, your, team were ready to, your, your team were ready to spend 110 I million. I told, you, I told you you guys can't do this. One thing you but guys can't I do, one thing, you, one thing you guys can't do is try to run jokes on Caicedo because you I were ready not. to drop British record 110 million pounds on him. So until he has a string of games Stop and he actually with. starts... I don't want to hear no Kaiseido slander. I don't want to hear. You're it. not going to get Kaiseido slander. So let's you're not let's, let's, get let's give him some time. Let's give him a Wait, moment. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. All you're right. not going to get Kaiseido slander for me because I rate mm. the kid, and you're right. When he hasn't played for six weeks, he can't be expected to turn around. Okay, Look, then let's be let's be serious. He can't be expected to come around and save a game like certain other midfielders were brought in against ten men. You know what I mean? For 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 core of the price. You know what I mean? He can't be expected to do the same as. As other players, man. Kaiseido, I'm not blaming here. I mm. mentioned the other guys. Enzo apparently yeah. hasn't seen top of the table since he's been at the club. Enzo Fernandez. That's, 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 that, that, applies to, that applies to every that's single Enzo's only, one, hey? Enzo's only won like two or three games in the Chelsea shirt. Is that true? Chelsea, Chelsea have only have won some two or three games. For him, man. He's won four games in the Chelsea shirt. Listen, four games in the Bro, Chelsea. it's mad. Brothers, it that. applies to everyone. No, nah, but I can't really team. go at Enzo, man. He was it quality. applies to everybody. If you've been watching Enzo, you can't tell me well, that I'm not Enzo's getting on Enzo. I'm asking about the stat, bro. I know about bro, Enzo. The, no, no, but the reason because you're a football man, as at least you claim to be. The stat is irrelevant if the whole oh, team you're, you're, you're talking like as if when Enzo oh, plays, we lose. Oh, and when Enzo shot. doesn't play, hold on. When Enzo doesn't play, we win. That's that's, that's I didn't claim anything. So then don't ask me about a silly stat. It doesn't make any sense. It's, it's not a silly stat. stat. I'm asking you a question. That, that same stat applies. That it's... same stat, stat applies to Mudrick. Yeah, but to hold on. Okay, to to but, everybody. But, but, so so Badi Shield. How many games has Badi Shield won? 
Nobody said it. We're going to get to the. We're going to get to the. I'm asking. I'm asking you, the Chelsea representative. You think I care? Correspondent. Do you think I care? I'm going to tell you what you told Saeed. I'm going to tell you what. I'm going to tell you what you told Saeed. I don't care. I watched you. No, no, no. No, no. It's disappointing. Alpha, because your, Alpha your head's about to explode. Brother, you are bringing your big round circular bald head. You're bringing your brain cells <laughs> down to the level I didn't expect you. That, your, your brain cells are close. dropping in this conversation. I'm expecting your head one is second away from calling your you a brain head cells are dropping. I'm this close to calling you a donkey. This close. You are dropping your IQ. Is your head I never thought. Why would I care? If I'm watching Enzo, if I'm watching Enzo, why would I care about that statistic? Okay, can I ask? Okay, can I ask? Because he's your player and he costs 100 million pounds. What do you mean, why would you care about that statistic? Toby, Toby. Foolish statistic. comes down. It it's not a foolish statistic. It's foolish. clearly a fact. Statistic. I asked you a question. You haven't answered one sec, Grizz. I asked you a question. You haven't answered it, which means clearly you care about no, the statistic. My answer was I don't care about and, that. And stat. second of all, second of all, let's talk on your team. Let's talk on your team, right? Because you you spent all this money on new players, and we're still talking about Chelsea. Two seasons later, Chelsea are still struggling to put the ball in the back of the net. We're still having that same conversation. We've been doing this show on the Big Six for. How many years now? Three years? Three, three and a half years? Yeah, I can't yeah. even remember. For as long as the big six has started, we've been talking about Chelsea missing chances. Before it was, oh, Werner, he's crap. He's not good enough. We need to get better attackers. Oh, Havertz, he's not good enough. We need to get better attackers. Oh, Sterling, he's not good enough. We need to get better attackers. How many, how many millions and millions and millions and millions of pounds are you guys going to spend before you can actually start well, this is the perfect segue. The this is a perfect huh? segue onto while we're talking about the biggest flops... And we've been talking about the biggest flops. I want to mm. talk about, and we know he's got loads of slander names: Midrick, Mudrick, Midrick. Ukrainian Bolt. So many I've seen. Yeah, different. Ukraine Bolt is a is a good. Yeah, one. Ukraine Bolt is a sick <laughs> one. But Turkish, I want to ask you while Matisse just simmers down for give him a couple of seconds. You know what I mean? But I want to okay. ask you, Turkish, when Arsenal were linked with him, and then Chelsea fans rattled you lot like about, oh, we we got the pull. I mean, are you kind of glad because? Uh, what's this? What's going on with this guy? Like, okay, he's a new player. We get all of that, but hundred million wasn't it, or close to hundred million euro or something? Yeah, yeah. Like, I, th I, think, you... I think I think they did spend hundred million euros or something. Like ninety something. But to be so fair, as, no, so as far as flop goes, as far as flops go, and I've and I maintain in the top ten, Chelsea got about Lion. seven. Yeah, yeah. I reckon I reckon Chelsea got about seven in the top ten flops of Premier League history. Where's Mudrik in that, guys? Soon. He's well, not you, know, in that. you know what? He's not I, I don't think he's I don't think he's there. I don't think he's there. I don't think, I don't think, I don't think you can call a player. Why is he not there? You can't call him. Can I tell you how many, wait, how many starts has Mudrik had? He's had seven I said starts. soon. This is embarrassing. This is embarrassing. He came off the bench against West Ham. He's had seven starts. And you just made sure he didn't impact any of the time. Hold on, hold on. What's your first language, all of you? What's your first language, all of you, though? English. English, right? I said soon. How soon? No, no gets... why? What do you mean soon? You 12 mean? months. 12 months. Give it, so give it 12 more months. Nah, Thank nah, you for nah. the answer. Matisse, Matisse, what age is he? What age is he? One answer for six. 22. 22. How, how can you start calling a 22-year-old a flop when he's had seven starts for Chelsea? How can you, you, yeah, how you yeah. even start opening I, up that I conversation? I just said how long. How soon does he get into the less... He's got less game experience than some 19-year-olds. He does he hasn't even played that much football. You go and look at it, go and do your that's research. Gamble to pay that money, then oh, is giving an is that, that's why I wasn't that's why I wasn't flying the whole sign Madrid but, flag. But no, now I he's here, you. I have to I give him you. time. You can't say someone that's had seven starts has not started consistently and he's just been in and out the team in an unstable team, which you saw last season, and then start saying he's a flop. What do you, what do you expect Mudrick to... Do you expect so Mudrick to you flourish him? right now in this team? How with, soon with, with you give him, I said, start? I said brother, how soon you give brother, there's, there's, there's many other players that we can talk about, but Mudrick after seven and starts... Let's talk about them. Very let's talk about them. Can I talk about Axel? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't want to divert it too quick. Yeah, One thing I'm going to say before I say that... No, 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 Matisse, one thing I'm going to say before... When you when you got Sam Woodring, I remember talking to you straight after, and you actually said, "Listen, I don't know nothing about this guy. I'm just happy that you know we can laugh at Arsenal a little bit." That that was the angle you went for, but the reality is, yeah, I don't care how many fucking games this guy played. He's fucking 22 years old, and he cost 100 million euros. 
he shouldn't be on the bench in the second game of the season after being here six months. He should be starting the game. I'm not saying he should be he should be scoring 30 yarders and scoring two free a game. What I'm saying is he should be starting the fucking game. Not ahead, yeah. Like, how's Action Jackson? Him not, start, him not start him not starting the game is also oh, down wow. to the fact that <laughs> him not starting the game <laughs> is also <laughs> down to the fact that Pochettino. Oh, that's good. Action Jackson. <laughs> Huh? <laughs> no, no, no. You know what it is for me though, man. You know, you hold know, on, hold on. Let me answer the question. Let me answer the question. Go on, go on, go on. The reason why Mudrick is, 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 has not started is because we've not played with two wingers in that game. We've played a back three. We've played with two wing backs. So what does that tell you? That tells you that in the midfield, I say though who came on was awful, wasn't ready to start. Lavia wasn't even in the squad. So he went with Gallagher, um, Enzo and Carney, who's now injured again. Um, another injury after in Cuckoo, right? With Reese James as well. So, so... Listen, listen, we don't we, we we sympathize with injuries on this panel, right? Anybody gets injured, Timber, we shall nah, respect. Nah, don't, nah, don't, nah. don't don't be don't be a douche. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, no, no, so no, no, no. so three man midfield. So he decides to go with that midfield, unbalanced. Yeah. Unbalanced. Totally this guy, yeah. I, listen, you see this whole oh happy that Toby's back with his wins. Yeah. Fuck off. I want Toby's yeah. team to get absolutely <laughs> destroyed. <laughs> this guy I, I want is you to be angry. annoying. I want you, you to be angry. Stop telling me about injuries. I see you as the trophy. They spent, they have spent arrogant from nine hundred million wait. pounds. And, I can't and Matisse wait. Wants me to, Matisse wants me to cry cro crocodile tears because he's nineteen year old top prospect has got injured. Boo fucking who? You've got. I'm eight, providing eight you context, you don't. I'm providing you context. He's done it. He's done it. Don't listen, care. listen, Donkey. I'm don't providing care. you context. You need to listen. Don't care. I don't care you about your listen. context. I'm providing Explain you context. Explain the game. I don't care about your for context. Someone that be, for someone that be drooling over Monday Night Football analysis, you don't, don't want to listen to no context. Injuries, How does that make any sense? How does that make any sense? This brother, yeah, this brother, please, please, this brother please, please, will sit there in front of his please, TV please, screen please, please, with Jamie Carragher, drooling from from the lip. Drooling from Jamie Carragher's analysis. But then when I want to give you some context, you don't want to hear about it. You don't want to hear it. It's too easy, bro. Oh, it's too easy. easy. Oh, it's too easy. Mm. It's too easy, clearly. Look Watch at when Akron stops. Watch when Akron stops. Kuma and Saar, poof, gone. No Look midfield for you. you. What? Wow. No midfield. You Who's going to really start in your midfield in Akron? It, they aren't you. You're I really hope they both go to the final. Who's going to start in midfield for you in Akron? <laughs> now he's You're going to be back with Skip and Hoiberg. I relish the day when Skip and Hoiberg are starting in February. Look at you. You're finished. You're finished. Foolish boy. You're triggered. You are finished. The, the so, once, with the so, so once that midfield is ready to start, and I, I assume that will be against Luton on Friday, then I expect him to be going back to the normal formation with, with the wingers back on the pitch. But he was way too conservative. My biggest issue in that game, you're up against 10 men, you've still got three centre-backs on the pitch. I think Poch has to take a lot more responsibility, if anything, for that result as well. Not just the yeah. players. I'm talking Oof, about Paul as well. Man. In pre-season, we played a 4-2-3-1. We were playing on the front foot. And we played Andre Santos, Andre Santos at the base of that midfield. And for some reason, he's not even on the bench in this game. And you're wow. and you're reverting back to the formation we played last year, which we stank in. I'm I'm like, why? I'm, I don't really understand. So I need him to get back to back to what he was doing. But listen, mm. we we held our L. It was a it was a shocking second half performance. And now I'm looking for seven wins out of the next how, seven after. How, how are the back three? And huh? before, yeah, yeah, I want to talk about you, that one. Before you yeah, answer, talk, before you talk about the defenders, question, go for it. Before you answer that question, you remember when you said, oh. I'm so happy we've got Poch because it's going to piss off Toby when he's... Da -da -da -da. Listen, I'm not going to lie. Chelsea, Chelsea in possession have impressed me in in various spells over the, the past two games. So I'm not about to sit here and say, oh, Chelsea, you're in for a bad season. I don't. I don't really believe that. But what I'm going to tell you is with Pochettino and his subs, you're gassing me. Oh, we've got Pochettino. Well, you saw the bad side of Pochettino there in the second half. I couldn't believe the subs you made. It killed your game completely against 10 men. I'm seeing, who is it that you brought on the pitch before Mudrik? Um, I see you bring on Caicedo. Why are you bringing on Caicedo? Bring on another attacker. I thought, it... I thought bringing on Caicedo was a crazy. crazy. Like, the guy has a crazy, crazy, crazy decision. It just, it didn't make any sense to me. And he just, you know, the subs completely deaded off that game for you as a contest. So, Man, yeah, you, it, it made you him worse. He's magic. You, sing it then. He's magic. You know, yeah, yeah, no. but you know, you know, it's for me, man. Them, yeah, it's their defense for me. That Axel decides here. Yeah. I am glad we have missed out on this guy. He is slow, he is ponderous. He got bullied. Oh, you're not going to play against Antonio all the time. This guy is clumsy. Brother, mm. he, he, I don't know, but he's just again. Like, I hope he's don't go anywhere about this good player. I did tell him. I don't know this guy. I don't know this guy. 
I said, by the shield, let him fight, yeah. this guy, see. By the shield, let him fight, boy. This one, oh. yeah. All right, that's how you... And Levi Colwell, okay. welcome to the Premier League, Levi Colwell. Because there was an area you're where... You were the Premier League last season. What are you talking about? No, but I'm Good. saying, like, welcome to the Premier League. Now you're starting <laughs> and now you are top of Chelsea. That was Brighton <laughs> in and amongst the team. But now... Oh, you know, Instagram no, stories. Let me ask Don't try and play my boy style. Because you knew mate. exactly what he meant. You knew exactly nah, he's in the Premier League last season. Yeah. Be, be better no, no, than no, 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 you know exactly what, what I meant, isn't it? It means you know for Chelsea. Saying, so. It means for the Chelsea. Yeah. Axel yeah. Disaster, hey, man. That's well, the name, by the Chelsea, way. Then, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, welcome to Chelsea. <laughs> yeah, you know I mean? Welcome to the... Yo, he got taught a lesson. But their defense yeah, for me, no, man. No, 100%. Their Listen, get on the problem. center backs. You, you play three center backs and you can see the set piece and you and you can see to Antonio 1v3 on a break. Tiago Silva was doing musical statues. Yeah. Two so mistakes from both the other guys. People said, oh. people said, people said um, about the Antonio, that goal, you know what I mean? I think he had rattled them by then for them to not even Bro. engage with him then. Antonio was a one-man demolition team against three centre-backs. Shout out Antonio for that performance. Let's not get it twisted, first Bro, and foremost. I know, I know we're casting like, Chelsea. You know? I know we're casting Chelsea, man. I'm with, I'm with Colwell. Ban Antonio. No, nah, bruv. Uh, yeah, and, what? Okay, fair enough, but Antonio... Yeah, Antonio. Why, why, why? Why understand it? Why are you putting Antonio? No, don't worry, man. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Long don't story, yeah? yeah? Tell us yeah, privately. Tell us well. privately. Tell you got beef with Antonio? He's got beef with yeah. everyone. Man. Jim it's beef in it. He got Jim beef with that. No, 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 no. It's nothing to do with that. He was getting that Richarlison, innit? So, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's still uh, defending Richarlison, man. He is... I'm saying he's a No, I'm not defending him. I just... I'm not defending him. I'm just... Yeah, that... Antonio just moving a bit quickly. Was that was so, that yeah. was that striker's performance against your defenders a little bit worrying? Because yeah, people were coming for for Silva and saying, "Oh, he needs to be dropped." But for me, Silva's the only one that's remotely holding you guys up. Without Silva, it's pretty shambolic. Even man. he's a bit, you know, it's, it he's, 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 he's on guy. the wing though, and I like Silva. He's on the wing. He's on the way. Of course, he's on the wing. We yeah. know that. Like, that goes with everyone that like, goes past a certain age. But for me. He's still the only one that keeps them intact, bro. Because without him, Cole and Axel Foley, brother. <laughs> Axel Foley. Axel Sorry, Foley. It just, yeah. it just registered in my head. <laughs> <laughs> you compare them to what? Nick Foley, training, man. <laughs> Isn't Axel Foley thing? Beverly Hills. Ah, oh, it's not Beverly Hills Cop. Beverly Hills Cop. Sorry. Beverly Hills Cop. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hubs have Nick anyway. Foley, the WWE superstar. I'm going to talk about Nick Foley, you know. I'm thinking, <laughs> Mr. Soko. I just always Police Academy. <laughs> Not Police Academy, man. It's uh, Beverly, yeah, Beverly Hills Cop. Yeah, Cop. You said Police Academy. I'm bad. <laughs> All right, cool. Um, what are we? Hour 22 in, 10k in the building. Hit the like button. We passed 2k. I checked a while ago. Can we pass 3k? Should be able to. Let me see what Chelsea ones have come in on top of the ones that came in earlier. Um, Jay says, Chelsea in the Ferrari or Jaguar, switching four lanes, still holding these L's, screaming out, money ain't a thing. (laughs) 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 Um, Is this... Oh, shit. Liverpool, golden generation, only one Premier League in 20 years versus Chelsea. Multiple coincidence. In what? Yeah, it's <laughs> one of those. Ones, it? Try to what? get maximum maximum worth of his characters in it. Get out of here. <laughs> I don't have. I don't know how to word that last bit, yeah. Mavic. But you need a blue tick, bro. We get the drift. Ian says at this point, even if they were sponsored by Microsoft, Chelsea still won't excel. Peter Drury. Um, will the join button be added to this? Yes, we will um, open up membership soon enough. Um, once we actually think of something to, to do, which we're in talks about now already, for members, especially for members, then we'll open it up. So real soon, people. It's only the beginning. We've just moved on to this channel. So FIFA, well, I was about to say FIFA's coming. It's not FIFA, it's EAFC or whatever it's called. I think it's yeah. released the end of next month, two days after it's released that Sunday. We're going live. We're going to be playing pro clubs or career mode, or we're going to be playing some something anyway. So make imagine, sure you imagine. Okay. Imagine members get to play us. I'm just saying. Yeah, that could be an option. I'm just it saying, guys. Option. So get ready to sign up. That could be an option. Tim says, "Has anyone seen Matilda's shades 
last season twerking about transfers instead of what he sees on the pitch. Your kitchen is on fire right now, my brother. Uh, <laughs> Ian again, Moises Caicedo giving away a penalty and error leading to a shot on his debut. It's fine though, it's spread over eight years, so it won't look as bad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, Cortez from Wild and I, aka Matisse, come outside. You lost a game that only means one thing another signing. So, who's next up for Chelsea? Who's next up, Shirky or Kudos? Sorry, is that the plan, Matisse? Look at you smirking. Did you say we'll see? We'll see. You're shameless, man. Just hey, get an injury. Out. What do you want? We get an injury per game. Ah, cool. Just go do your thing, man. Whatever. Lemon says Timberland are seriously considering offering Caicedo a nine year endorsement deal after his latest performance in their boots. First super chat again, CM. Much love from Atlanta. Chelsea's defense as strong as Matisse's stomach <laughs> on the wine gums. <laughs> oh, I've got some edibles for you, Matisse, when you're ready to. to... Why, 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 would you, why would weeks? you have them? What do you mean, why would I have them? Because I'm a heavyweight. That was just a, a, an off day. Are you joking? Wait. Are you joking? I'm, are you day. having a laugh? I'm being dead serious. You, you ain't no heavyweight. We saw you. <laughs> yeah, I am. I am. Trust me. Trust me. <laughs> well, you got your confidence back, Tobes, yeah? Trust me, I got my I got my groove back. <laughs> Slow down there, buddy. This is not, this is not it, man. <laughs> the <laughs> next link up, I'm bringing some Matisse. Me and you, yeah? Bro, oh. why? Why? Have you not learned <laughs> your oh, lesson? He's not ready, man. Have you not learned no. your lesson? We got no, absolutely no, no. Yeah. Cool. around the block, bro. I'll, I'll be cool. Trust me. You'll be you'll be fried. Don't worry. Speak soon. Speak soon, people. Yeah? Speak, Speak soon. soon. Um, That's mad. I'll give it to someone else in the group. Hey, KO, I, just, I see your super chat. I'll save that for the end because we moved on from the United and Tottenham section. But Ian says, Liverpool's midfield, LFC midfield going strong. Left at home, failed to score a pen, conceded a pen. Um, Masum says, Chelsea plan is to, f is to 50 points per season for eight years. That would mean 400 points in 2031 and guaranteed Premier League champions with record points. Todd Bowley got the perfect loophole to boss the Premier League. <laughs> Concedo is actually hilarious. <laughs> Bantering all good, but we all know Poch coached that team to win 3-1 by half time. Chelsea absolutely dominated them all game. But Get the fuck out of here. Those clinical counters. Poch coaching the team to a 3-1 when, when you lost 2-1 to West Ham. Shut up. 3-1. <laughs> Wasn't it 3-1? 3-1, yeah. 3-1. Um, the, right. is the funniest man. <laughs> coach, coach, coach the team to a two-one win, basically. <laughs> Chris, that really it. triggered you, didn't it, Grizz? <laughs> kind of triggered me, yeah. More disgust than trigger. Disgust. <laughs> and Murad <laughs> says, imagine spending one bil billion on a squad and your second striker. Wait, this was funny, off. you know. I didn't know who that kid was. Bowley gave a random goalkeeper from America an eight-year contract. The second <laughs> keeper. Who? What's going on? Bur Bursto. Bro, yeah, I don't know who he was. Warriors 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 Academy. Warriors Academy, so, uh, Academy, right? That's why. Isn't, that isn't Jackson... Am I... Where yeah, Jackson, Jackson from? started. Jackson no, no, started. No, but where very... Jackson from? Colombia. Colombia, I think. No. What do you Senegal. mean? Like, where's he? Where did Senegalese, he come from? isn't it? So, isn't he going yeah. Afcon as well in January? Yeah, he's going Afcon, but the problem is, well, is that Warriors... Senegalese. Yeah, Warriors, in... Warriors I injured. I thought it was Colombian. Then... Hold on a second. Warriors injured and Inkuku's injured. Those are the other strikers. Oh. Do you uh. That's why the academy players do. So, do you understand? Okay. Me? Injuries cool. happen to us too. I know we spent money, but it does mean we can still get injuries, just like Liverpool can. Okay. <laughs> he, yeah. He's on to Liverpool. Yeah. Six no, because, 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 Liverpool because their whole life changed. Bro, after bro, after bro, Columbia, whole life, life changed. Nicholas Jack said that. Not said you, you, you guys think this is FIFA? Where we bought, <laughs> Said, yeah, bro, yeah, the, the that ain't not Senegalese, Senegalese name. I'm sorry. Man. Nicholas Jackson, Senegalese name. Like bro, fair so play. Sounds like a Colombian name. Bro, sorry, man. Honestly, I didn't know that was. Yo, fair play. You're talking about Jackson Martinez, isn't it? That's who you're talking about. No, 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 I wasn't. I generally, I thought he was from Colombia. To be fair, his name does sound like, it sounds like a South American name. I can't be, I can't. South I American name, yeah. I thought he was South American saying. as well. I did not know he's Senegalese. Yeah. So I didn't know he was Senegalese, so he's going to Afghan then, isn't it? So. Live, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, 
Castillo says, I can't understand why we're running three at the back when we ran 4 2 3 1 all pre season with these players. Fight the good fight, Matisse. That's something Matisse actually mentioned word for word. Not a Chelsea fan says HW, but is clearly hurting from last week's Matisse cooking. Since when is Ward Prowse a journeyman when he only played for one club until now? Streets are saying Caicedo. Streets are saying Moises Concedo after that defeat. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, oh, Alabi, this must be your first super chat as well because first time I've seen you. So, big up a midfield combo of Caicedo as a DM and Enzo and Santos as both eights will do the trick. We'll see. BP again, Van der Beek never starts, but certain men will call him a flop. Also, Matisse and Said Otobes, an apology regarding Basuma. I should have saved that Me? for the end, but I started it. Well, do I? It's we Matisse, don't, owe, we don't owe nobody an apology. No, no, we don't. I never said no one said Basuma. Basuma wasn't a good player. I actually wanted Basuma at Chelsea before when he was at Brighton. No one said Basuma's yeah. not a good player. I just argued Tobes' this whole bargain point and where it all came it from. That's all I said. Well, I don't want an apology. Mm-hmm. I'm just sticking to my 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 thoughts that it, getting Basuma at that price is a bargain. Simple. Guna San says, "Big up, lads." Matisse, question: One Billy spent. Chelsea strip club popping off. What percentage much of what percentage of that money would you consider a top waste? Can't tell at the moment because most of the players are young, if not all of them. So we have to see how they how they develop and how they play. If you spend one billion, even though players have left on loan or sold, apparently logic and context become irrelevant. Two games were judging a squad of nineteen to twenty three year olds. Why do they keep doing this? Like, keep expecting... Like, why do your fans keep expecting us to to be fair with Chelsea? Like, nobody else has spent the money that you spent. Why would we be fair on you? You spent close to a billion pounds in under 12 months and you want people to give you the the, the grace. (laughs) Why? Why is that? I don't get it. You're outspending every team, every window, three windows on the trot. You're the biggest spenders, but we should have sympathy. These times, the same Chelsea fans will have... Harsh expectations of the of the opposing clubs. Why? I don't get Chelsea fans, honestly. If it was any other team, they would be saying the same things we're saying. Jam Fullmans. Yeah. I'm telling you, Jam Fullmans. <laughs> no rebuttal. We move. Matisse is I'm evil. Not, I'm, I'm, I'm not engaging. It's late. We have, we have to do three games. <laughs> How many games? Arsenal, Man City, Liverpool. Too much. Too much. Yeah, man. <laughs> Liverpool, let's talk about them, man. Ah, uh, One sec, one sec. We'll move. Matisse is evil. We're, we're above you. Yeah, really, yeah. Oh, second game of the season. All right. Cashing his chips early. You see, Saeed. He's yeah, his it's bad. They've won the league already. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> Weirdos. 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 Hey, Grizz, you've got to Matisse today. He's on to you for the, yeah. rest, of the, for the rest of the season. I can I can tell he's on to you. But yeah, <laughs> we moved. Um, he's waiting on Saar and Basuma to go AFCON. Don't sleep on the nerd. Big up, lads. Oh, this no, is the one I read no, out, I believe. Yep. Chelsea sold their entire soul, says Dwayne. No player there to show newcomers the club culture. And Jay says, inflation, fellas. Next year, you lot will be arguing about 300 million players. 100 million players will be the norm. Chelsea are ahead of the curve. It won't be. Uh, well, it's it's becoming the norm, but 300 million players ain't happening for now. And I say players because you might get one out of nowhere. Um like we did with Mbappe and Neymar and Dembele that same summer. Was it them three? I think it was. Mm-hmm. Twinny says, Matisse, bro, it didn't look good for you. I think it's time to integrate the B-Tech tapping tobes back into the squad. Nico Jack Shuai ain't it. <laughs> and hard. that... Very and that Just play right. like Lukaku and Rashford into one. <laughs> Nico Jack Shuai, you know. <laughs> Jack Shuai, yeah. It actually has a ring to it. That's very harsh. Jackson is actually a de- he's decent, man. He's actually a bad boy. I'm just taking he's it. He's bro. Like, he's harsh. Man said <laughs> Rashford and Lukaku rolled into one. They're nothing alike. That's what he reminds me. He's got a touch of Lukaku and he's just, you know, he's got the speed. No, I'm just no, like, yeah, listen, we'll give him time, but bro, that, he's a bit, you know. I don't know an analysis. Like you, look. Poor anal- that's poor analysis. Where, where did you see Jackson have a heavy touch? Yeah, I don't, I bro, think his touch Are is you calm. kidding me? Bro, his touch, I see two off touches in that game and I was like, wow. Like what, age Jackson, very, very what age is Jackson? What age is Jackson? Young. Twenty-two. 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 Where did they yeah, get him from? Where did they find this guy? Villarreal. 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 They, 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 he, to be fair, he did well at Villarreal. He displaced their main striker and did well. But 
Listen, I don't know if he'd be able to lead the line for Chelsea. That's just my own opinion. No, way too soon to say that. No, he's going to come good. Soon. Look, before people get, he's going to come good. He's a good player. <laughs> I just, you, you got, you know, I mean, you got to read the way. Who Jack Shuai? That's so rude. Man. I mean, that, it's still in my head. I'm looking, at, I'm looking at the chat laughing there, and I'm laughing in my head. That's about so it. rude, man. <laughs> <laughs> If, if he don't score, if, if he has a stinker, he not his chances this year. Yeah, I know, I know. I was gonna say, I might just take that. <laughs> I might just run that on Twitter. Jack Shray, look, Matisse ain't even impressed. I, I ain't seen Matisse this serious. <laughs> in a he's not involved. Involved. He's 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 involved. Involved. He's right. right. I'm, ta- I'm taking. I'm taking. On top. I'm he taking hasn't notes. dressed taking up. Notes. He hasn't like put notes. shades on. He's serious. He's just taking there. Notes. This is second game of the season. This is how we're. This is how we're behaving. I'm. I'm taking notes. He's in. He's, he's in vengeance, man. Trust me. When they win, he's gonna come back talking. No, this no, shit. No, no. All right. They gotta win a quite, listen. Talk, look, jokes aside, banter aside, they gotta start winning games of football. You know, Rooting in it, man. They, That's they their got, free pointer, man. They gotta come win on, a man. lot of games of football, guys. They have not won a lot of games of football. Don't That's worry, man. The run's coming. We only, we only played two, no? I'm talking about overall, man. Come on, they haven't won lots of games of football. Facts. Well, ever. <laughs> <laughs> like last <laughs> year or so, man. Listen, Grizz, I think it's best we both forget about last season. Last season is finished. <laughs> Bruv, we're unbeaten in 14. I don't know why you lot talking about And where about does that me. have you? Where does that have you? Bro, I don't points. know where we are in the position. We're here to talk about. You have four points. You don't have last year's points. You have four <laughs> points, brother. And you play Newcastle this weekend, and then you play Aston Villa next Bro. weekend. So let's see how Ooh, you shit. let's see how oh, you shit. play. That's what I'm so I want to see what you do oh, against yeah. Chelsea. You were oh, shit, shit. And, I, and then you play Bournemouth. Let's so let me see it. what you do. You. Oh shit! Oh shit! It's not been great, oh, man. Shit. Liverpool, don't be fooled oh, by this man. Hmm. But this is coming in. Coming. <laughs> you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You. Okay. I love that. I love that from Matisse. I love that. Because we will be there. Oh, I'm <laughs> we will be there. You, is Newcastle home or away? Away. Hard. Yay! We will be there. We will be there. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Liverpool, yeah? <laughs> Are we under Liverpool? Yeah, yeah if you want to just run, run through Liverpool quickly. Liverpool, yeah. Liverpool was basic, man. Awful. One of the worst starts you can possibly see in a game of football. We were so messed up mm. in that first 15 minutes. Ugly. Ugly. Uh, Allison asleep, and usually Allison don't play like that. But he has one in nine games where he's, you know, what I mean, been up all night playing on his guitar or something. Um, and Trent, we know, has crazy starts sometimes or, or moments defensively. But I've looked at the back of the game, I've watched it two and a half times since. And uh, in the end, 65% possession, 26 shots to free, uh, 13 shots on target, something like that. Like it was total domination. That was with ten men for the last half hour. So overall, overall, yeah. But we can see the flaws until we don't fix up defensively, get a DM in, blah blah blah. Same thing. But going forward, like I predicted, we're a whole heap of fun. We're a whole heap of fun. Like it's electric watching us. I don't know if you lot watch the game, but watching us go forward is fun. Um, but we just got to fix up. Uh, McAllister's red card, absolute joke of a decision, and rightly so, rescinded mm-hmm. straight away. That don't happen very often unless it's a. They realise, yeah, man, that was a blatant fuck up, and they realise that. So he's back. Um, what about the penalty though? Took on the penalty. Which one? The. The Sabonis yeah, one. That was the one man. If that was Bruno, if that was Bruno. You'd be absolutely cussing him. I'll cuss him. I no, no, no. I say he done the most. He done what he had to do. You know what I mean? What? He done what you have to do. <laughs> are you are you kidding me? So he's no. cheated then? Well, I, yeah, get kind of. What? Kind of, he says. He kind of cheated. Right. What is oh this? My God. What is this, Chris? Just call oh it as you see God. it. You manipulate the referee can I finish? and he got what he wanted. Can I finish? Cheating is when there's no contact. Correct? Dive is when there's no contact. Correct? Dive is not when there is contact. Diving is making the most of that contact. And making the referee, yeah, he dived. That's when there's no contact and he dive over the ball or a challenge. The guy left his leg out there. The ball got away from him and he made the most of it. Like Harry Kane does, like Jack Grealish does, like all the other Sancho, like all these other brothers Bro. do. Rashford, etc., cetera, et cetera, Richarlison, they all do it. And what do we dies, say? Brother. And what dies. do we say? And what do we say? 
they make the most of it. But anyway, that's not the most that's important wild. part. The most important that's part wild. is after the loss to Chelsea, we had to win. We Funny. had to win to make Funny. sure we consolidate. Lost to Chelsea. Yeah, man, no, they won. He's, he's they cracking won jokes again. He's cracking jokes. They, they, they didn't win. Yeah. They didn't win last week. No. Let me crack. Let me the crack. fan base no. Celebrated in the streets of West London. Chelsea, Chelsea, Chelsea. Just <laughs> goated. Cole got pressed like Levi's. <laughs> goated. <laughs> but um, but yeah, look, if you don't want to concentrate on that, I'd rather concentrate on the red card. We would have won that game 5 6 1 if it wasn't for the red card. So I'm calm. I'm calm. What was, what was Endo like, Chris? Did he play? <laughs> he came on in the last half an hour. So, like, <laughs> That's why Liverpool fans were laughing. Like the two, two, our, our boy cost us 20, uh, 20 million or so. <laughs> came on and controlled the last half an hour against 10 men. 10 men, 10, uh, sorry, down to 10 men came on. And then we saw the Moises Caicedo disaster class on the other side. But yeah, it's early days, man. Of course, it's early days. His next test will be the up uh, the litmus test because um, mm. you won't get more physical midfield than a Newcastle midfield. And at St. James, is it called St. James Park still? King, what's it called? Um, yeah, whatever it's called. you know that stadium. Yeah, yeah that's going to be a baptism of, baptism of fire for our new midfield. Uh, so, yeah, obviously we're going to discuss the preview on thir- Friday show. So Thursday. we won't talk about that Thursday. We'll talk about it on Thursday. But as far as this game is concerned, Bournemouth, Bournemouth are going to cause a few teams issues, guys. That's what I'm going to say. Mm-hmm. Bournemouth ain't washed, washed. Like last season, their manager is a bit of a bad boy. So I'm happy with the three points. Nothing spectacular, nothing disaster. We know the weaknesses, we know the strengths. We keep it. Moving. Why, why was why was Klopp beefing the Liverpool fans as well? I saw something on Twitter about that. Yeah, I saw that too. Like, stop. He, just, he, said, he said, stop singing my song when it's not over yet. That's it. Don't sing about me. Sing about the team. So what was the song? What was the song he doesn't like? It's about, Klopp. It's about Jürgen Klopp. They sing the Jürgen Klopp song. Yeah. So he said, stop singing about. I don't understand me. that. Oh, I just explained it. Can't be dictating fans, though. You can't be really dictating fans, yeah, can man. you? Of course, of course, you can. It's Klopp. Can't you can do whatever he wants, right? Yeah, can't you can't you can't you can't you? A bit weird. He doesn't want to. He said, "Don't sing about me. The game's still going on. We're down to ten men. Anything can happen." You know what I mean? Sing about the players. Support them, but don't sing my name. That's all he meant. But some people were offended by it, like used to, and some people don't give a shit like me. No one was offended. Right? It's no, no, you, 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 you and Saeed are offended by it. Yeah, I'm just saying, if, 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 if we were sitting we were sitting with if you and Saeed are offended, if we were sitting with the Guardiola side of the game, and Guardiola started getting mad about it, I'd be like, what the hell? We're talking about a game of football, and they want to know why is Klopp talking about songs? But Chris, what's on their agenda? Why are you always in defence mode when anything... He's my dog, isn't it? He's my dog. Yeah, he's my dog. Relax, you hadn't even yeah. attacked him. Wait, you, oh, wait, you, you defend Richarlison, I defend Klopp. You defend well, Richarlison. You, you, your, you your dog doesn't want your support, yeah, clearly, because you think his name, he tells <laughs> you to shut up. No, he's a humble yeah, dog, exactly. isn't he? He's a humble dog. He, he, he only wants to bark when he's winning, like, you know, when he's comfortable. He don't want to he's a weird like dog. He's a weird guy. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, what manager doesn't want his name sung in the stadium? Respect dogs. Man said, yo, take your support of Fuck off. <laughs> what I was questioning that. I wasn't, I I wasn't oh, trying to take it. Oh, you're talking about support. Oh, you're talking about support. Matisse talking about support. So go on. Um, great. Um, is that the front three then? No, I don't. That's the one thing. Nunes, I don't think, is a starter at the moment. And the other f- four, Gakpo, Jota, Diaz. Can we talk about one, two minutes on Luis yep. Diaz? Let's talk on him. <laughs> Proper. Yeah, he was, he, 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 started was off, he started off last season like this before uh, Dirty Dandy, Partey yeah. took him out against yeah. Fink. But he was first three, four games, he was a bad boy. Um, so, yeah, Luis yeah. Diaz has started off like a house on fire. I know we talked about disgusting wingers early on in the chat. Do you remember in our WhatsApp group where we were talking about disgusting wingers and all of this business? Luis Diaz is... I'm sure you guys enjoy watching him play as yeah, neutral. He's, he's a baller. He's a baller. Like, I'm not he's neutral, but you know what I mean. Like, all, all the fans. He's a baller. He's, he's, he's a baller. He's, 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 he's a wonderful player. And that was, was a Luis this... Suarez type finish, like inventive, very quick, flicked up in the air, bang, yeah. before the yeah. keeper could even think. So yeah, yeah man, Luis Suarez. Was, was it wasn't even just the goals as well. Like I was watching, I tuned in for some of the first half and the second half, and every time I caught it, he was just cooking. 
him and Sabozlai were just running, were, were just oh, running rings, Sabozlai um, running rings around Br- uh, Bournemouth. So guys, Sabozlai is a player as well, man. Sabozlai, Pat, like we finally got someone worthy of wearing the Steven Gerrard. I know we've had like Naby Keita. Chill, bro. Two games, brother. Hey. Chill, 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 chill. No, don't let him chill. Let him talk. No, you reminded talk, me. <laughs> you reminded me. Thank you, Tony. I agree with him, bro, man. <laughs> go on, go on, Chris. Enlighten no, me. No, no. No, no, no. He started off really well. Like, not only as an attacking outlet, when we went down to 10 men, he played like as a central midfielder alongside Endo in a two. And he played maturely. He played professionally. He showed a lot of leadership qualities for a young man, 22 years old, in in his second game in the Premier League. Uh, he showed me he showed me hope. He gave me hope, I should say. Cool. Um I was, I was asking you about that front three because I've had Nunes in for the first two weeks in FPL. Nah, and the guy's not I had Gakpo. Yeah. I've taken him out of my team, man, because he's just... Bro, yeah, he's not the wrong man. FPL, always man. Pick the man. man. Jota's the one to pick always. Martin yeah, Ellis killing him, Jota's man. approach is, is not good, but he just like, bags. But, nah, but Jota's... He's on the end of things, points. man. He's on the end of things. Did you get points for gameplay in FPL? Um, no. not really. Like it, it might add to a man of the match or something like nah. free, the bonus points. But... Exactly. And even really? when he's up, Jota will come on and score. Mm. Ah, Bro. Nunes was around about what hundred million euros. Is he going to start most of the time this season? Or eighty five million Bro, euros? Let's talk about him. So no, no, because, not... no, because no, no, we we talk did euros for, for Mudrick, and now, now we're doing euros for Nunes, and you know we do, we do euros. So okay, I'm asking if he's going to start him. consistently or is he going to be like a rotational piece? I think he's going to be Talk a rotation player. Uh, okay, hold on, hold on. We're going to... 85 million pound rotation, rotation player from Jurgen Klopp who oh. complains One about... One question at a time and I'll answer you guys. I mm. can't do this uh, two at a time, three at a time business. It's not fucking... Mm. I don't want to hear... You might, you might as well add the, su- you might the, add the super chat to that. One at a time. One at a time and I'll answer you. So, Chris, 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 85 million pound all in. Don't tell me about... Don't tell me about initial fees. I'm talking with bonuses yeah, and packages. 85 million pounds all in. Yes. You're yes. telling me that Jurgen Klopp has the luxury of having 85 million pounds on the bench. And we're still talking about Klopp not Finished? being backed. Finished? Okay. So he will be on the bench because of our quality of our attack as compared to Chelsea's quality of attack. He's every right to fight for his place. Numbers wise, you can't even mess with him because in his first season, he's got you 15 goals. Yeah. Second season, he has a lot to prove. Game week two, he has a lot to prove. In my opinion, he has a lot to prove. And let's see how he gets on. At the moment, he doesn't get into the team because we're scoring goals for fun. So he yeah, makes great season, though, Chris. If you had that great season that you talk about, so why is he starting this season? Then? I didn't say he had a great season. I said you can't cuss him about his numbers. I didn't say about great or anything. Stop no making up things no that I said. I speak very clearly on this channel and English most of the time. All right, mate. Please. Chill out, pal. Listen to Relax. what I say. <laughs> listen, to, listen to what I say. Because you're used to <laughs> waff- you're, you're used to waffle. I'm, I'm not waffling. I never I'm said great saying, season. Like... I said you can't mess with his numbers for the first season because he got good numbers. Second season, he has a lot to improve on and impress me personally. A lot of Liverpool fans love him and swear by him and think he's going to score 30 this season. No problem. That's me. That's them. Me, I think he's got a lot to prove. And you don't know I said this from the start. He's got a lot to improve. I just think it's important, again, if we're going to speak proper football, how many mm. chances are created at Liverpool for Nunes? How many chances, big chances did he miss versus just a conversion? Because you can say he scores goals, but he gets Yo. a lot more chances. If Mudrick was getting them chances and he was missing all of them, then we could have a conversation. But I don't really oh, recall too many times running well. running one v one with goalkeepers I'm gonna, and getting I'm gonna use your, so, I'm gonna use your I'm gonna so use your I'm gonna use your words. We have to be fair here. I'm hmm. gonna use your words. What you used at the start of the show. Hmm. Don't talk about last hmm. season. It's this hmm. season. So let's see what he does yeah, this like season. That. You said forget about last season. Where's he gonna get you? I like that. You're right. You was right, brother. So let's talk about this season. So far, he hasn't had no chances that I can remember to miss. So we see how he goes this 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 season. I agree he's got a lot to prove because the price that comes along with it. There you go. And the only Liverpool super chat that came in was that exact question on 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 Nunes as well. So um it's been answered already. Right? Love for the people sending in super chats. Love for everyone still tuned in. 9.7k here. It's it's coming up to two hours. We've got about 10 minutes left, so we're gonna keep it moving. Um and obviously. Arsenal City both picked up wins. Might as well start with Arsenal. Um, 
because we ended it with 10 men and we ended it I won't, I won't say on the ropes because I think I think we we saw the game out well even with 10 men um I was worried that we, we took off the wrong attacking players because of a lack of threat on the opposing side but especially when Zinni came on the way we managed to get the ball back there was a 10 minute period where it looked like Palace were creating waves but Zinni comes on we hold the ball a lot better obviously Jorginho is there as well Partey low block all of that nice to see listen clean sheet 1-0 win do I expect a better performance yes but he is trying something different Arteta um, whether that's worth the risk or not we'll find out but it's definitely something different to to what we've what we've become used to last season, um, and which done us so well for the majority. So it is what it is: two wins, six points, one of three teams. League's getting boring, man. I'm waiting for Champions League to come back. Wow, <laughs> wow! How, How can, can the league be boring? <laughs> I thought you know, wasn't listening because I head down when Arsenal comes up. Now I'm seeing people just. No, 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 no. He thought he could sneak that in there. He thought he could sneak that in there. He thought he could sneak that in there. When's Champions League back? When's Champions League back? When's the draw? Next Thursday. Say no more, man. Who's there? Can I just say, though? I don't think um, I don't think the, the new system is entertaining to watch, if I'm being honest with you. But <laughs> in terms of your system, you are more cohesive in terms of structure defensively. Salibo, I think the party situation there, you are more solid. Yeah, I mean, Havertz, I think he won eight duels, I think he won, which is quite good for, for a midfield of his calibre. But you are a bit like Martinelli isn't flourishing, Saka isn't flourishing in that angle. It isn't great to watch, but... I think that might be the new key thing for of Arsenal. You are probably terrible to watch, but you then get results like the one nil <laughs> like back in the day used to be. Hold on, hold on. We want to see the style, man. We want to see this Arteta way, man. I wanted to be entertained, man. Bro. I'm gonna be entertained by this. This is not good, man. How can you call this? Oh, you this is good for bro, my bro. I need you to change that. Bro, don't let him cook. <laughs> we we need another word put in that place because <laughs> it's far from terrible what we're seeing. Let's be honest. Turkish, you no, better no, no, get I used get to it. This, was 10 men. Turkish, when, when you're winning it games, when you're winning games, and people wish they were you, all they can hope for the start. No, 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 no. Yeah, but let me let me let me let me balance this. We have to be honest, right? No, no, no. We have to be honest. I get it. It was ten men. I get it. Was ten men, but. I, what I'm trying to say is, I don't think it's going to be the glitz and grammar of last season, the football you were playing. I think Nathan now there's grammar. a new system that is a bit... Well, listen, I think Arsenal played some good football last season. Odegaard, there was a few situations. But I do think this season, you are going to be more, more resolute. I think defensively, you're not going to be as kind of what you did last season towards the end. I think Arteta has made a new system that is making it a little bit, probably not the best to watch. But you are more cohesive defensively. I think that's a fair judgment in Arsenal. I know you had ten men, but even in the first half, I don't think it was great. To be honest with you, the football. I think. But, I like think I said, they, you got the win. I'm fair play to you. The game, though. Yeah, yeah, they did. But I'm saying, like from, well, a, from what, a neutral point of view, is, that's, that's what the system is more for to control more of the game. I, listen, I think we can compare yeah. Arsenal and City this weekend quite quite closely, right? Both of them weren't fun to watch. Let's say that, but they got the job done. I think personally, I think it's too too soon to say that Arsenal are, are not going to be entertaining this season or they're going to be boring, so to speak. I think it's way too soon. There has been some changes. I do think that the back line is a little bit potentially overcomplicated with Gabriel being taken out. I don't know if he's got an injury or knock or whatever, because um, I, I still feel like he. I'd expect him to be starting being a left footer in, in the back three, whatever you were kind of shifting to, but... Nah, man, I I don't. After after seeing them against Nottingham Forest, they should have they should have won that game by probably a lot more goals as well. I, I don't think I don't think boring is is the way. Pal- Palace away is not easy, man. That's I know everybody goes there and actually does tend to to get the job done. Um, I think that's the only team we did a double over last year. But no, nah, Palace away on a Monday night. Sometimes you just got to go in and get out. Same mm-hmm. same thing Man City did against Newcastle. They were I watched that game. They were they were not fun to watch. City. It was boring as hell. But Foden did his thing. Job done though. I think I think yeah, I yeah, think taken a leaf out of Pep's book. I think our Teddy's taken a leaf out of Pep's book in that sense because when what kind of got us over the line in terms of winning the Champions League last season was the fact that Pep stepped away from the the idea of always having to play blockbuster rock and roll football, which actually leaves you more open and exposed in defense. Like we were winning games, remember, like six four, six three in Champions League, and and then we'd ultimately get beaten in the knockout stages where he went away from that and decided to make us more defensively sound, which is 
probably harder to watch because you're it's a bit slower and not as exciting. But it's what got us over the line. Whereas last year, Arsenal were that electric team, you know, all out, all attacking. They're really exciting to watch. But they leave themselves slightly exposed um, at the back. And when I got to the business end of the season, they, they kind of crumbled in that way because they couldn't keep up the rock and roll football. So I get the way Arteta's going. And it's a results-driven game. It, at the end of the day, I know as fans, we like to watch good football, but it's results-driven. And I think it's a huge three points. I was in Palace last year. I went there. Their fans are they're loud. They're intimidating. It's a rusty old stadium. So, yeah. Whatever way I you win, so. you get I your three points. It's an excellent there. result. I think it's an it is. It's a huge result. Whatever way you get your three points at Crystal yeah, Palace yeah, yeah. away, it's a fantastic way to get your three points. Chelsea, Man United, Spurs fans, don't let them tell you. Bro, no, I didn't. I don't I think didn't I said say anything. I, didn't say I gave them credit. Hold on. Why? Why are you it's shooting at me? I'm just saying. Why are you saying don't let them in it? I'm saying I didn't say you did. I said don't let them. Don't let them. I know this. I know this team. I know you got bad memories. I know you got bad memories. No, no, no. It's a Toby. He, he's got bad memories, yeah, because because Suarez <laughs> was, and, and Joe were crying in that very ground, and now he's coming at us <laughs> like we like we cost a man. We didn't say that. <laughs> <nothing. laughs> you know, you know right? Why mean, did all three of you start just yeah, nattering away as soon as he bloody? He, he tried. He no, tried to make this out this guy. Like we were a Dwight Gale, bro. Like, like, and also, maybe, you can't trust maybe, this guy. Turkish. Maybe you can't trust this guy. <laughs> maybe maybe, maybe the big dogs have to be on top. Maybe this wow. maybe this has to You've be the new layout won now. Any significant trophy? <laughs> maybe I'm this has to be the new layout. I'm still waiting on my goal. Why are you waiting on my goal? 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 Why are you waiting on my why are you why are you swap with me? New layout. Swap with me. Why are you up there? Why is that a pretender? Why are you up there? I'll give now Liverpool are... one significant is... trophies. Let's be honest. Is... Liverpool are oh, the top dogs are on top. Why is the Turkish Wawa's making all the noise on the bottom? Hey, 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 swap me in Turkish. Swap Matisse, me in Turkish. Matisse, Grizz, Grizz, Grizz is playing Thursday night football. Why is he? Why is he in the top? Exactly. Yeah, but bro, it's not about where. It's not about what day you're yeah. playing. It's about trophies, bro. I know you don't get that. Oi. It's about trophies. We won the Champions League. We won the Champions League. Wait, wait a minute. We won the Champions League. You swap Turkish me. Me Your right stupid now. four eyes oh. face, yeah. Get that <laughs> fuck up, trophy, bro. Shut yeah? up. You, you're a trophyless you, shitty club, you bro. You got a couple How of wins. Right. Not you even a couple of wins. You got trophy. one win. How one win, and your head shining was, again. The chihuahuas are loud. Listen with grandma. Like what I said. How dare you talk up the things after the season you had lost last last year? Glitz and grandma, bro. You are here with me, bro. You are here with me. That ends of stat. I'm not in with you. I won a Champions League. What are you talking about? I got two Champions League. That was two years ago. That was two years ago, and guess what? The guy, the guy score. who scored, guess what? The guy who scored you to go to the Champions League final, he's a two pack of ass, and you sold him for 65. That's, that's Turkish's Why? problem. That's he's Turkish's shit. problem. And your club was shit last season, so hold that. Well, let me ask you, hold let me that. ask you, what has hold Turkish that. accomplished in the last 10 years to be sitting up there? Are you tell me? Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm not gonna Bro. answer that. Exactly. Answer. That's exactly. what I'm saying, man. Get down for me. It's, it's, get it's down from crazy, man. The title pretenders, man. The time to this. <laughs> Look at you three. You're you're, you're actually well, all, all upset. Can you, you talk to me about um? Can you talk to me about um? Genuinely heard about this? anything? It should be me. All I said was it was a good result. Yes. You talk about look, 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 Put the traditional top dogs at the top, Ooh. and then the guys that are pretending to be bought it all at the bottom, and then you know, wow. told me no disrespect, wow. but you know, you can stay there. Don't make me speak on, don't make me speak on Lisa again. <laughs> no, no, don't make me speak on Lisa <laughs> These guys bought it all, put the real, you know, the top dogs, you know. Come on, man, we did it with sincerity, man. This guy didn't do it sincerely. The T says, damn, it came out of nowhere and it caught me. You know, like, like <laughs> someone catches you in the yeah, jaw. I'm not like, like, right what did he say fuck me Bro, you wasn't, like, you wasn't blocking, bro, so I just... <laughs> <laughs> what did he say fuck me for? Uh, <laughs> Jack, can you talk on Kai Havertz quickly? <laughs> yeah, what do you want me to say? I just want you to just assess his time. Oh, so shut up, Togs, man. That's so no, 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 uh, to, to wrap it up quickly, my, my concerns haven't been lifted yet, but at the same time, well, we've won both games, so I'm not going to delve too much I'm into... I'm not talking about into... your games. I'm, I'm asking you about his performance. It's been three games. Community Shield, game one, game two. I'm just asking, how has he played in those three games? I think off the ball, he's done a lot better than he has done on the ball. That's for sure. But I oh, off the ball, lot... okay. So, I he, so, he, so, so he is playing DM for you then? Not DM. Oh, so where is he playing? Are you saying he's based amount of Arsenal? Is that what he, you're calling? He, he's playing the eight. Oh, okay, cool. So sorry, you're just it's talking wild. about off the ball work. Sorry, just no, no, no reason. 
<laughs> this is the system that Arteta wants to play, and that, that's the role that he has to play. Yeah, it is what it is. is. It is what it is. Um, Man's talking to me about off the ball work. Let me, let me ask you, I want you to be honest, Turkish. If you used to take Havertz and swap him with Mason Mount, do you think there'd be any difference in your team? I can't lie, I can't lie to you. I don't rate both of them, if I'm honest with you. <laughs> Said, would you take the swap? Mid versus mid. It's mid versus mid, man. Come on, man. Yes. Let's be honest. Okay. Don't let them do this, man. Do see, this is what I'm saying, man. I'll okay. tell the rule with this one, man. You used no, to have right. so insecure, Chris, man. Uh, every, high, man. Uh, Chris, every show, I'm going to be <laughs> asked about Havertz. Every show for the next, uh, you know, at least, <laughs> Bro, at least 18 to. months, I'm going to be asked about Havertz. So, <laughs> right. you know, we'll, we'll see how that one goes. Listen, we've passed two hours. We've literally just passed it. Grizz said he's got to run. Before he runs, I've got to bring up the prediction table as well. Oh, we you don't even... need to do that, man. You bad week. Even... Bad week, man. I had a bad week. Turkish is gone, man. He's having a good... But he did have a good start last time, though. And it didn't work out oh, for him. Me. Look at this. I yeah, oh, man. Oh, oh. Woo! <laughs> Smart. Wow. It's looking okay. good still. It's looking good. It's looking People, good, man. man. It's fine. I'm, I'll catch him up. I'll catch him up. Nice. Listeners on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Amazon Music, all of the podcast platforms. I'm top three correct scores, 13 points. Tobes in second, one correct score, 10 points. Then Grizz, Hugh and Saeed all have seven points each, no correct scores. And Matisse, five points, no correct scores, bottom of the table. <laughs> nah, Matisse is already coveted. I give up. <laughs> Bro, it's the start of the season, Finish. man. Don't worry. Remember, Matisse, if you Jesus. lose, you have to eat edibles. That's the that's the forfeit this year. Are we are we just forgetting about Manchester City, Newcastle, or is, is he? You don't no, 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 no. We're not forgetting. Mm-hmm. Just like, I, I, got, I, didn't I forget. I watched it. Go, no, Grizz has to. Grizz has to go. So I wanted to do the love prediction you, table you, before Grizz goes. Matisse, love. Hello, <laughs> I'll up. see you. See you soon, brother. <laughs> speak soon. <laughs> speak soon. Speak. Love, Grizz. Love. What's <laughs> it? No nah, man, I, listen. I, I watched the city game, man. It wasn't very memorable. I'm not gonna lie. So Hugh, take your away. Hold it. I don't care. Hold it. Let's talk on Foden. Let's talk on Foden. Yeah, I want. I want to talk about Phil Foden because he was class. Like I know we've let it to last for whatever reason, but it was a genuinely huge win. It was a genuinely huge win beating Newcastle, who yeah. are going to cause a lot of problems this season with no Kevin De Bruyne. I was concerned about creativity, and Phil Foden was absolutely class. I wa- I was at the game and I watched it in the stand and. Everybody in the stand was like, Phil Foden looks at home. I watched it back when I got home and I was like, yeah, he's really pulling the strings. He was making things happen. He set up Haaland once or twice. He probably should have scored at least once or twice. But it's a huge win. You guys know I was nervous for this game. I was. I was genuinely concerned about Newcastle coming down with a really good feel, uh, good feel factor. Um, and we limited them. We really, really limited them to few chances. I thought Kovacic was absolutely class at dictating the flow of play as well. I thought Vardy all looks right at home in that left back position. Um, Ruben Diaz beside him makes him even better. So that's two on the bounce for us now. And I know, like I said, we've left it to last, but beating Newcastle, plenty of you guys will struggle to, to do that this season. So it's an yeah, absolutely yeah, it huge one. win for us. They're going to cause real, real problems um, mm. for loads of us. So the fact that we held them to as little chances as we did. And then you had Phil Foden, who a lot of you were saying he needs to step up this season. I think he stepped up in that game. Phil Foden was very, absolutely very. class. And I think Pep Guardiola has managed Phil Foden perfectly. A lot of people for years have been saying, we want Foden midfield, because that's what he did growing up. All through the academy, he was midfield, midfield, midfield. And then Pep deployed him on the wing. And Pep always said, at the right time, Phil Foden will get moved into midfield. And this year seems to be that year. And he looks ready. He looks ready to do that. So... Now that we know Phil Foden can do that, I feel so much better about the creativity issue because Alvarez doesn't have that creativity in him. He's a natural goal scorer. You saw it. Fantastic finish for his goal. Foden set it up, of course, got his assist. So I'm really excited about Phil Foden in midfield. And I, want, I just wanted to put some respect on him. I know we don't have much time left in the show, but I felt the guy deserved a shout out because there's pressure on him from all angles. Everyone's saying he needs to step up and he's looking like he's doing it. So that's kind of it, really, man. Two in the bounce for City. Um, and I'm very happy with where we're at. No, he was he was quality, I have to say. And I I won him in the central positions. I've been saying it for ages, but obviously Walker was it was weird because you have a lot of defenders on the pitch now, and Walker was kind of back to his old ways, maybe trying to bring a bit of width. But Foden was unbelievable. He was the one player that I could say is the difference maker between the two yeah. teams. Because I think it was kind of cagey at Newcastle, they couldn't string two free passes together. You guys weren't creating a lot of chances for Haaland. Um, but Foden was was the guy, the difference, man. Proper performance yeah. from him. 
I thought that I think, he um, I just want to say as well. Sorry, Tom, I just right. want to say that I think with Jeremy oh. Doku coming in now, he his medicals do, due tomorrow. I think he's going to add a whole new dynamic of creativity for us because if you know yeah. the way we play, both of our wingers, Pep, whoever he deploys, whether it's Foden, Grealish, Bernardo, Grealish, whatever. They're always ball retaining, ball recycling, pours of football. We don't counter attack. Now that we have a blistering right winger in Jeremy Doku, we can play that route one football. We have a goalkeeper in Ederson who can ping passes, you know, 50, 60 yards with accuracy over the top if needs be for playing against the high line or that kind of recycling football isn't working. So mm-hmm. I think I wanted to highlight that the signing of Doku, I think, is really going to add a new dynamic to Man City. And we spoke earlier a bit about how you think maybe City are a bit boring or the way Arsenal are playing are boring. I think bringing in Doku, it's going to make us a lot more exciting. A lot of people are comparing him to to what Sana used to do for us and, and what Sterling used to do for us. I'm not ready to do that because I think it's premature and those players were unbelievable when they're at their prime with us. But yeah. if he can get even near to those levels under Pep, I think he's only 21 as well. We have a really exciting talent on our hands yeah. who's going to unlock a whole I different of attack for us. Well, yeah, from what I've seen, he's um I've not watched him loads, but from what I've seen, he's still quite raw. But that explosive yeah. ability to beat players, like even if it don't lead to to much, it's just the, the ability to open up a game of football for for your team. I think that's what he's going to bring to Man City. And I heard that Man City are actually in for Danny Omo, who I I feel like that would actually be a, a good signing for for Man City. I think he's yeah. a good player. But I'm sure for on Phil Foden, I think it's about time, man. And it was a good performance from Foden. Now the challenge is, can you be that guy over the course <laughs> of this season, right? That was a really good performance. And you're right, he made the difference. Now do it in the next game, the game after that. Make yourself indispensable to Pep Guardiola. That should be, like you said last week, that should be the target okay. for Phil Foden this season because nobody doubts his talent. But sometimes... Sometimes he gets away with with not playing well over a spell of games because of his talent. Nah, this season you got to step up. You got to be that guy for Man City. No, it was just it was just more so that we've seen it now. We've seen him do it against Newcastle. We've seen him control the midfield and be creative. Like the reason I really want Foden to do well in midfield is, of course, because he's an academy player and that kind of thing. But the fact that there's not many midfielders we have have that real killer pass. If you know what I mean, to break the lines and, and unlock a defense like. Um, Bernardo, as great as he is technically in ball control, he doesn't have that killer pass that'll unlock a defence. He won't play a ball through for Haaland to run to um, the way De Bruyne would. Um, Kovacic, I'm yet to properly see it, although I thought he was really good against Newcastle and he settled in really well. Um, but Foden does have that in his locker. Foden does have the ability to, you know, almost David Silva-esque, play a ball through he has no right to play. And it's just a matter of uh, what you said is right, just doing it consistently and now doing it week in, week out. So I'm just really happy with what I saw from him against Newcastle uh, and I'm hoping he can continue to do it because also City fans who watched him for a long time and I watched him even in his academy we know he has it in his locker so now we want everybody else to see it you know what I mean we all know he's talented we all know Phil Foden's a super talent but now we want him to do it consistently at the highest level in the centre of the pitch where it's most important so I'm happy out man that's two wins in the bounce two two doable games easy easy enough games on paper Sheffield United and Fulham but Pep's not going to be in the sideline Pep's going to miss all of our games till after the international break because he had back surgery this morning. So we'll see how that goes down. But yeah, I'm happy out, man. I'm happy out. Hmm. Let me go to the Super Chats as well because there's a few in Arsenal and then City as well. Um, Panny says, we were under the pump last season at Palace before our second goal. Was very impressed with how we controlled the game yesterday. With Zinchenko and Jesus back, I expect us to fire offensive again. That's what I was going to say. Obviously, Jesus coming back is key as well. Because Eddie did do well yesterday, uh, without a shadow of a doubt. He's he, he's part of the reason we won the game. Should have scored his second chance, but he, you know he made the first one. We won the game with Jesus back. I think that's when I can really see what Arteta's plan is with Havertz on the ball and and in terms of getting in the box. Jesus dropping. I just need to see them two in action more, and then 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 I start judging Havertz in terms of a productivity um, side of things. The first two games have been quite, as Saeed put it, well, uh, not as Saeed put it, terrible. They've been boring, yes. But same time, we've got the, the Ws and right now we're one of three teams. So it, it shows how hard the league is. Kevin says, big up you, man, waiting for that membership. Not going to lie, though, you not let Matias get away with murder. And Saeed, dance a yard before you dance abroad. Your team stinks. Get away with murder. We heard Matisse call someone a donkey again for the first time in a little while. So I think, I think when that happens, you know you've 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 
reach the right the right level. Um, <laughs> HW says, Raya showed levels yesterday. Man of the match, without a shadow of a doubt. Saliba and Eddie Barda miss were also top, but I'm very worried about Kai. We've moved a DM to right back, a right back to centre back, a left and left a top centre-back on the bench just to fit him in. Mm -hmm. Like I said, when Jesus comes in, that's, that's when I can judge how much impact this has had on our on our attack, even though some would say to me when Jesus got injured last season, we still scored goals in January and moving forward, which is fair enough. Um, Nick says, Arteta's copying Pep from the previous year every time. Last year, Arsenal played so similar to 2021 City, and this year he's trying the free... At the back, 2022 City. Arteta unlocked Haram football. Will will finally set. It will be needed to win matches against low blocks. Gabriel's absence is tactical. Um, NLF says there are some grounds that nothing but the result matters, and Selhurst is one of them. Especially for us, not worried about the performance. We'll get better for sure. Max, City fan, two clean sheets against two solid teams. You wait for that Gavardio, Diaz, Stones, Walker back line. Long day for you fellas. Long day. I don't doubt that, to be honest, when you see those mm. names together. <clears throat> Nikita says, if we sign another top quality midfielder on top of Kovac, Gavardio and Doku, as well as sign Walker and Bernardo to extension, this is a 10-10 window for me. Keep up the great content. Well, mm. like I said, nine days to go. The other man that needs to show a bit more is Jack Grealish, to be honest. The people are slowly catching on. Don't go anywhere. That one's from final third. And I have missed a few people, but we're well past the, the two hours now. Grizz has already left us. It's 20 past 11 here in the UK. We've done two hours, 10 minutes. I know there's still 8.5k here, but we're going to have to call it a night. We are back Thursday, 9pm. So it's a 48-hour turnaround. Thursday, 9pm. People are asking why and whatnot. Sometimes it happens like this. Schedules come out. So make sure you follow us on the socials at The Big Six Show. Um, when September arrives, I'll post a, the, the schedule for September and you'll know exactly when the shows are. But the next one's on Thursday, 9 p.m. That will be previewing the, the game week free fixtures, predictions, all of that. Make sure you're subscribed. Put the notification bell on. Show, show Manscaped some love. TB620 is the code for 20% off. Um, and show the man them some love. Hugh, Saeed, Grizz, Tov, Matisse, Skullfuggery, my channel, all in the description below, people. Like I said, we're back Thursday. Mank Talk back again this week as well. If you missed the last one, make sure you go watch that. It's back on the channel. And just keep updated on the socials, people. Listen, we're out. Love for the love. Peace. <laughs>